Hey heroes, Galaxy's Edge presents James M. Ward's Crimson Hawk Adventures. Sci-fi writers playing old school D&D are back and branded and ready for trouble as we get taken to task by James M. Ward. How are you, sir? I'm very fine. Thank you very much. And I have some splendid things planned for the boys today. Oh, God. This is how we get in trouble and start breaking stuff. Uh, <laughs> and speaking of breaking stuff, we have uh, Lance being played by J.R. Hanley. Feel attacked. <laughs> yes you should uh, Orlando being played by CJ Correa Greetings uh, We have Chromedius being played by Nick Cole Burn the whole thing to the ground <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and with your new uh, With your new uh, uh, Zoot suit this is entirely possible We yes. have Levi being played by Michael Howdy howdy And reprising his role As Verdna we have Sir Andrew Scott Back from the dead, or at least from rest. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Take it away, sir. Okay, so hey, last week we had an amazing adventure where Wyvern really shined as an amazing fighter <laughs> and startling dwarf. We we made the mistake of going in Weirdness Tower, and he didn't tell us a lot of things that he was working on. And so we tripped a bunch of stuff that we should have never survived, but because we're brave and bold, we did indeed survive and rescue that poor man from a fate worse than death. And uh, now, as a matter of fact, we have some interesting things happening. First of all, good old Prometheus woke up this morning and he was seven foot tall. Doesn't understand it. Is, is pretty sure that it was part of his uh, wish that's causing this to happen. And he doesn't want to use armor or shields either, but he's immensely strong. Um, he's, he's unusually charismatic. He's now, he was good looking before. Now he's amazing looking. And so you wake up uh, in the morning and there's a dense fog. You have never seen a fog this dense in your whole lives. That's because of um, the tacos. <laughs> now, when you say he's seven foot tall, do you mean him physically or his ego? <laughs> JR, I'm kind of surprised at you there. You're going to hurt Prometheus's feelings. And you don't want him to feel attacked right now, dude. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Isn't that true? Isn't that true? But anyway, dense fog. And you hear a bumping at the front gate. So I'm listening. What do you guys want to do? First, we should uh, take a moment. Uh, Wordna comes down from the tower and uh, asks the party to gather around and uh, pay tribute to our fallen comrade, uh, one of our original core <laughs> brothers at arms, and my uh, complete mortification at the loss of Drawn, and uh, my assurance that we will work to restore uh, balance there with the help of Big John. Should, should we inform folks about the narrative that yeah you know, yeah you know, we we left off with the uncertainty of Wordna and then Wordna is here so what 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 um, happened how it how it ended uh, was uh, a successful by Lerm pulling Wordna through uh, the mirror of mental prowess which allowed him to step through he does ask Levi for the trump so that I can uh, have that in my possession if I could please absolutely. Yeah, so now we're deep into amber. Thank you very much, Andrew Perry. I, love and, <laughs> I, I still have John's skull and enjoy talking to it and telling it my <laughs> most problems. Yeah. Yeah, I can so, actually enchant that for you if you'd like to be able to talk to him. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Please do. Uh, we, we, are, we get one more week if we want to uh, return the boy. Right now he's shredded and in a bag. And yes. we, 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 we spent a little time already getting back in into our homes and getting back in the shape. We have exactly seven days if we want to go to Crimson Hawk and try to get him 
um, resurrected. Uh, okay. KTF you know Fiend that. in the chat says, looks like nobody managed to successfully complete the drawn jigsaw puzzle, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> Tell them well done. Yeah, that's cool. So anyway, seven days if you want to do it. Got but, it. Uh, but right now we have to deal with this dense, dense fog and somebody's knocking on the door. Um, do our uh, charmed blades from Asgard give us any ability to negotiate looking through fog? No, of course not. Come on. They let you walk. They let you walk on clouds and fog. What? And summon the Bifrost Bridge. What more could you ask from little tiny daggers? So can can I walk on the fog then and, and, you know, over our wall and look and see who's there without opening the door? You can absolutely walk on the fog and, and go high like they were steps. We also go, have a storm giant who sees through clouds. Yes, not you through do. Walls. Not through walls. You haven't opened the door yet. Well, I no, see but you, you don't have you don't have to open. Okay. Okay. You have a question in chat. Which uh, is? This, uh, Lord Dalius wants to know if Drawn's body is bagged, does that mean he's in a, headed to a jar in your lab? <laughs> oh, man. That's actually a great idea. <laughs> it's cool. cool. Look what you oh. started, Dalius. I'm it, I'm a big fan of extra things for saving it for later. It'd be it'd be cold. It'd be really cold. <laughs> We're done. Because <laughs> you know what? Nobody else wants to be in a jar in your in your lab. So <laughs> I think that's a great place to end up. We might need to have our greatest hits in, in a box. Oh my! Oh my! So anyway, right, more. What does Levi see? Levi can't see. He he looks there. He looks down. Dense fog. He can't see his hand in front of his face. Oh, it's that's that kind of fog. Yeah. That's that kind of fog. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll touch Prometheus and say one express elevator and levitate him up. Okay. Prometheus sees two fog giants and a very large chest at the front gate. Oh. Oh, Not cloud uh, fog. <laughs> Fog giants are very unusual. Um, you guys have never seen them, but you've heard about them. And uh, they're, they're creatures of the fog. They're totally invisible in a fog, and they can generate a fog themselves. And for some reason, two of them are standing there, pounding on the front door, really wanting to get in. Does the chest say publisher's clearinghouse? <laughs> no. I speak, I speak fog giant, right? You, yes, giant you do speak. Well. Okay, yeah, you both speak giant. I speak fog giant. Yes, you do. So I will speak to them in fog giant, ask them what they what they want. Are you opening the gate? Nope, I'm levitating above the wall. They want to talk to the giant Prometheus. You're talking to them. Really? Well, they have a deal. Um, they, they represent several tribes of giants and they have 100,000 gold pieces in a beautifully made Ron's chest and they want to talk deal what do they want to talk about well they don't really want to shout over a wall they'd kind of like to be invited in and fed and and treated like honored guests we call don't light, with call guests. Light. my first call lightning happens out across the fields behind them oh you bad guy <laughs> you okay i have to see how they respond to that that's an intimidation tactic just in case that was a little no vague. it is yeah Speech skill increases by one they, they say come on we want to do a deal we've we've brought money we we want to talk like like not like gentlemen but like gentle giants i'll whisper choose the curtain choose the curtain <laughs> choose the curtain speak Funny. now all right, so they um, they aren't sure that you want it. You want your guardsmen and other people to hear the deal they're offering. The second call lightning happens. Close. Oh my god! Okay, fine. They want to pay you to help them destroy Crimson Hawk City. The giants are going to go attack it in several months, and they would like you on their side. Oh good. And um, they're willing to give you a hundred thousand on spec and a million after the battle. I hit the one that's talking with uh, a lightning bolt. Oh, you bad guy! That's you. awesome. <laughs> it's not. It's not very nice. That's nineteen hit dice worth of lightning. Yeah, bolt. yeah, thank you very much. I got that all figured out. And the call lightning is still active for both, and it lasts mm-hmm. for 
I think an hour, right? And then usually long time. Yeah, yes. it depends. Yeah. It usually depends on level. Uh, okay. We... So I will reduce them to smoking piles of ash. No, they run away. <laughs> did they uh, leave their chest? Yes, they did. Outstanding. If we could get Werner to levitate that inside and inspect it for traps. <laughs> I, um, I can I can levitate it inside. I you have can? Le- I have levitate. How nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so wait, you- wait, wait a minute. Storm Giant has a 30,000 gold piece levitation capability, right? Yes. Didn't, didn't they say it's 100,000 gold? Yes, it's too heavy for you to levitate. Okay. So just that was a question. I don't know. Um, Jim, uh, you said they're trying to run away? No, they did run away. I don't know how they could run away through a lightning storm. Well, can, we that, at least, can we at least a niche for those of us who have a incredibly high dexterity? Well, none of you. Okay. So. So he here's, called the second cast lightning. They start to run. I would like an action. Okay, but you weren't you weren't levitated up there, were you? You I levitated see, him. I can see just fine from where I'm at. Well, how do you see through a a big castle gate dragon sight goes through walls my x-ray vision is considered to be anything within a two mile radius oh that's cool. uh, <laughs> i'm thinking i believe you <laughs> yeah yeah you okay you can make an attack if you want enduro knock fast uh, okay what's that gonna do disintegrate only if he's got mr which fog giants don't oh you bad guy you <laughs> button down one disappears in dust. All I can hear is 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 somebody with the Darth the James Earl Vo- uh, Jones voice and no disintegrations. <laughs> I want them alive. No disintegration. Exactly. Okay, you, you killed one and the other one's gone. Cool. We're gonna bottle that. Go, yeah. How did I know he was gonna say that? <laughs> I was getting ready to ask. Are we bottling the powder? Hell yeah. Actually, Chrome might like that as a nice refreshing drink. <laughs> I think that John and I are going to die laughing with my giant voice from the top of the, the castle. And we just think that's hilarious that we just. Uh, John is dead. Right, John. John. And he <laughs> laughs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'll work on some things you can do with him for next time. <laughs> I would like to turn him into a magic eight ball of some sort. Oh, my, oh, my goodness. I know, I know the spell to turn him into a question ball. We yeah, just this. isn't that Can we great? make him an artifact? No, but I want like the NyQuil eyes and the answer that comes up in there. It's it's very upsetting, but we can do that. Hey, Nick, yeah. I just want to say that uh, KTF Fiend in the chat says Darth Chrometheus has a nice <laughs> ring to it. Yeah, Should it really. be not Goth Chrometheus? Goth Chrometheus. Yes. Um, no. I mean, I, 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 shall, I shall henceforth henceforth be referred to as Goth Chrometheus. <laughs> Goth Chrometheus. <laughs> does, okay. Uh, does the fog dissipate, Jim? Nope. Still there. I'll turn to Orlando and say, can you check for curses on this chest, please? Uh, let me see. If I... I like that our cleric has the demeanor of an Audi mechanic from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see how you fuck this car up. That's very <laughs> expensive. Yeah, you know, you're... Uh... Yeah. All right, I cast... Um... Do you let it warm up before you start it, or do you just... Start it. Do you try pressing the on button? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I try to take curses. There is no curse, but there's something weird. I don't know if I who thought the end of it. And All what's right. what's that one, Andrew? Uh dispel magic. Yeah, okay. There's no magic on the chest. All right, tell me a little more about weird then. It it feels weird to the cleric. It doesn't feel weird to you. Most things don't feel weird to me. Um, <laughs> right, so it's probably divine, Orlando. Um, can you do augury it or get a little uh, phone home and see what happens? No, that's beyond my my current uh, expertise. Well, you can't yet. augury? Okay. But uh, I think, uh, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the Giants wanted to get this chest inside. Yeah, I'm not psyched about doing that at all. Oh, come on. It's 100,000 gold. What? Does Just fever... like those were simple pilgrims. We've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> what does fever detect inside? Uh, oh, good question. I don't know if fever can det- detect this. She detects treasure and gems. Yeah, yeah. 
there there's she detects gold but she doesn't check any gems but she says there's something weird about that that gold pile mm -hmm. she's not sure what it is uh -huh. all right well maybe we uh -oh. leave it here and uh uh we'll we'll sell that to the highest bidder um Orlando, do you have Wyvern Watch? Hold, hold on. We we could just see if we could get one of the kids to open it. They've got yeah, no, it. I, it's not about opening. It. Don't care about that. We're going to save this for later. Uh, this is an offline activity. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, 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 I know that. Wyvern Watch on it, and we'll deal with it later. Yeah, I mean, I, I have the spell. I just haven't learned it today. Perfect. I have it today. All right. But I can put it on uh, tomorrow. All right. I'm going to go inside and rememorize my high end urban assault spell. <laughs> and, uh, while I'm doing that, you can pray for Wyvern. Yep, we'll do that. I will ask the Cavalier to send his best messenger to Crimson Hawk and tell them that the Giants are planning on attacking Crimson Hawk and have attempted to enlist the aid of Wells End, and we responded by killing their messengers. I'll scry the White Wizard and tell him the same message. Okay. All right. And shake the bottle. Yeah. Eh? Shake the bottle. I, I, I send Porthos oh, at okay. all possible speed. There nice. we go. Good. Is he riding a unicorn or one of uh, Drawn's horses? Which one Drawn? is faster? The unicorn's way faster. Yeah, they tell him. He will borrow Drawn's unicorn. He will borrow Drawn's unicorn since he's a little bit under the weather right now. <laughs> under the <laughs> no, weather. He's under Nick's chin. Yeah, I, really. asked, I, asked Drawn, I asked Drawn if that's okay. Is that okay, John? <laughs> John, John doesn't seem it. to be. Uh, then, maybe. Well, I've got I've got a magic eight ball here. Do you want me to give you an answer? Yes. <laughs> Hang on. What does John say? <laughs> Put me he's in the actually, ground. He's actually getting a magic eight ball. Oh my god! This is this is role playing at its finest, people. Yes. And me meanwhile, the lonk, the the monk is just over there, you know, snacking away. And snacking away, he's like, mm, "Someone died. What else? Eat a burger." Ah, crap! Wife packed it, but I but I know where it is online. So hang on. Okay. What is John <laughs> say? Can he use your horse, John? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a horse. It's a unicorn. Can he use your horsey, John? <laughs> <You're wrong. laughs> use horsey. Okay. All right. Um. All right. So. So Andrew, uh, the it, chat is. Uh, doing saying a very important thing that the whatever the message that Drawn gives you, it has to end with balls. Signs point to balls. <laughs> oh, there we go. Signs <laughs> point to balls. So that's the yes. It. That's the yes one. I think we're taking that as a yes. And then he holds right it up, apart. holds up Drawn's skull, and he goes, oh, bo -bo 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 what they day. <laughs> yeah, okay, great. No one here gets that, but Prometheus does. That's all that night, counts. Night of Barsoom. So, so you uh, right, but we like you anyway. Uh, Lance, I want you to roll a six sided die. Tell me the number. All right. Grab um, actually, we die. just received an important message in the chat that says Verdna is the coolest nerd ever. <laughs> I have no idea if it's a good roll, but I got a six. Okay. Thank you very much. And what level is your boy that you sent out? Um, I don't know that we ever determined that. You know how he said was? <laughs> we caught that. Poor Porthos. We knew that well. And what's he using for a weapon? He didn't say my, he didn't finish with my good friend. That's helpful. <laughs> that's very helpful. So he, he carried a uh, long sword of quality. Oh, made that's by wonderful. Fine men yeah. at arms. There we go. Okay, give me two 20 sided dice, please. Tell me the numbers. Alrighty. I had a 15 and a 4. Okay, 19 so total. Uh, do damage on the 15 for me, please. The long sword was, am I attacking small or medium? Or large. large. Got a damage of 8. Okay. Someone yeah. ran into a. He a just stabbed guy. himself in the chest, <laughs> yeah, Harry really, Carey, no, no. for no reason. Two, two more rolls for you, please. All right, uh, roll the six sided or the 20 sided? 20 sided twice, please. Uh, 14 and a 13. Okay. Thank you very much. That's it. Okay. <laughs> that was ominous. 
We need that music, uh, Walt. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, really. <laughs> the fog okay, giant so just hey. ate Porthos. Uh, something ate Porthos, yes. Yeah, it's in the chat, so uh, or rather uh, on the screen. If you go onto Twitch, go to the right side of your screen, it's uh, it's actually in there. What's in there? Uh, the dun, dun, dun. Oh, on. okay, cool. Uh, I, I'd rather listen to Nicole myself. But we can arrange that. That's just me. All right, so okay. here we are in yeah. the in the castle. We've we've just talked about the events. We're having a very nice breakfast, and uh, and draw and our friend Prometheus is eating an unusual amount of food, but he's a growing boy now. Mm -hmm. And so, where would you like to go? What would you like to do? The sky, of course, is the limit. So am I correct? And you said that the uh, Porthos is now no more. You you don't know. How are you finding out? Get a psychic link. <laughs> would, would, would like 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 twins know when something happens to their uh, offspring? Might a father not know if something happened to his son? No. Hmm. I would I'll say, I'll say I'll say to Lance, Lance, when are you supposed to hear back from Porthos? Three days. Three days. Three days. All right. Picture picture Porthos in your mind. All right, doing it. Uh, okay, you get the stomach of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's unfortunate. Wait a minute. Did he ride a, a horse or a unicorn? He rode, he rode a unicorn. unicorn. How the hell would the unicorn not have teleported before it dealt with the transport? Great question, Andrew. Someday maybe you'll find the answer. <laughs> well, I say like we go down beneath our, uh, we, we go down beneath our castle and start clearing shit out. If we find some giants, we, I mean, I don't want to get carried away, but we pull out their tongues, gouge out their eyes, and flay them alive wow that's kind of serious for the poor giants i think it's a little understated yeah <laughs> i think i think oh, we need to get brutal the dwarves okay good gems my Wait. mission now is to make is to unlive every giant ever so that i'm the only giant okay good yes so and that's in keeping with our giant wars storyline that our 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 great fans have asked for yes okay so what are we going down a tower? You're going down your well. What would you like to go down today? I think we're gonna we're gonna wait one day and, mm -hmm. and get ourselves together, and then we're going down <laughs> going down in our well beneath okay beneath the ruins. That's great. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so, so you go down. Okay, I'll and we'll well, wait since today. we're waiting a day, I would like to um to cast augury on the chest to see if opening it will harm us or or benefit us. Oh, open it. Will harm you, yes. Any other questions? How many questions do you get there, buddy? Uh, let me see. I think it's only one. Yeah. I thought it was always three at least. Oh, three? Yeah, I think let you get see. a handful. While he's doing that, Nick, uh, Knight of Barsoom says that you shouldn't forget to slow cook the giants in a pit before you eat them. <laughs> that is true. I had a prime rib last night with Doc Spears, and he slow cooked the hell out of that. <laughs> And I ate so meat, I, so much meat, I was swole. <laughs> <laughs> one of you guys has to work on a sauce. So one of the characters should be building out sauce. I make enough crap all the time. Someone else has got to work on sauce. There we go. All right, second question. Uh, I think that's uh, I think that's Michael's thing. Michael is a yeah. chef, actually. He's the master of the north. So come on, maybe he's got franchises. Could be. <laughs> okay, next question there, buddy. Um, uh, is there a safe way to open the chest uh, that belongs to one of our uh, party members? Yes. Okay. Um, How about who, who can do that? Who, yeah, who can open the chest? No, no, yes, no questions. Uh, well, Andrew, you're questions? always Andrew, you're always pushing the envelope, young man. I'm Go magic, magic. find the question. So, so we could do it sort of like the psilocybin pony idea. Um, uh, go magic user cleric thief <laughs> I'm waiting for Carlos to give me the uh, question um, can Chromethius open the chest safely yes there you go uh -huh. all, all on you buddy <laughs> I love the fact that now everybody's making Chromethius do things. I think that's really very amusing. 19 hit dice, man. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can Chromethius open it safely because he's a thief or because he's a giant? 
we don't know. I don't think you're a thief anymore. You're a monster, man. He he has no more questions. That was it. Oh, did I lose my thief skills too? No, no, you're a thief. You're a fine thief. Why am I not a fighter then? Because the fighting part is now the giant monster part. So can I still advance as a thief? You can, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you that. You may definitely put all your experience points into thief levels. Ooh, baby. Okay. Can okay. we, can I, well, never mind. I'll do that offline. I want to find out if I can uh, uh, stimulate his uh, magic ability by giving him a uh, skill set in that. Okay, that. That sounds a little deviant, but okay. okay. I can read scrolls, right? As a thief, you can read scrolls. As a fourth level magic user, you can read magic user scrolls. You can't do cleric stuff at all, though. Right, but if, uh, like, like Verdna gave me a, a scroll that I have two fireballs and a teleport on. You could definitely do that, no problem. And do those fireballs go off at 19 hit dice? No, they go off at six hit dice. Just like if you used a wand, buddy. Six okay. hit dice. Okay. I'm okay. cool. Yeah, right. of course you are. We all know that. Okay. So you open in that chest and checking things out? Yes. No, I'm not. Let's go down beneath the thing. Okay. So we're all we're all equipped and ready to go? Yes. Okay. No ridiculous 15 healing potions. Four oh. is, is the max that you oh. guys can carry. Okay. Because they're 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 now the word to super healing potions. Okay, so you go down the stairs, and, and when you get to the bottom, the first thing you see is two giants, and they're, they're white stone. And you recognize them as fire giants that have been turned to stone. By our Medusa. Uh, mm-hmm. You don't know who turned them to stone. You just notice them. Does it look like well, they're looking at the back? No. No. So uh, we're gonna. Do we we're notice gonna... any smells or, or in the air that would give us any indication of what's going on? Smells like wet earth. Good question there, Jr. How, how about this? Um, with blind fighting and like keeping my eyes closed, can I sense who or what is ahead of me? I mean, <laughs> am I able? Like, if there were a Medusa or a whatever, and a head in a hallway, would I, with my eyes closed, know that? Okay, you have to detect it first. So you have to you have to know that there's a body there, and then you can use your blind fighting skill to try to hit them at a big minus. Yeah, but that wasn't my question. My my question was, would I be able to identify what it is that I'm you know not looking at essentially? No. Okay. All right. So I just want to make sure. You could always you could always use your hands and and check out the body of the monster and <laughs> and just hope that it isn't a white or a wraith or oh or I a got succubus. gloves I've got gloves remember yeah okay yeah. you got gloves but they got they got talons so yeah that's true good slap in the face does horrible things so anyway the statue two statues right there they're kind of blocking the way but you guys can get by them if you squeeze I'm I, calling my guards yeah I cut I mean, at arms on me. Right, and have them. I want them to take the statues upstairs, save them for later for me. Oh, sure. I, can, I could just break them up for you. I don't want them breaking, broken. I'm going to use them. Oh. He's going to use them for just some. Take them upstairs and uh, I'll some take nefarious them. means. So, um, Lance, my friend, you have to tell me if you're bringing guards or or people with you. You know. No, no, those were just to carry stuff. But oh, those were yeah, and, and we were close enough to the entrance that I could just shout and be heard by the ones. Okay, and that's end. fine. I, I agree with you hundred percent there. I just need to know if you bring in boys with you. Uh, we'll bring um so we got Porthos is missing, and so for family bonding time, I figured maybe I can bring Artemis with me. Is Here. Artemis one of the wolfoids? Yes. Okay. Dude, do we still uh, have Athos, a shield? I'm sorry, maiden? I pronounced things wrong. Yeah, yeah. you st- he can use his shield mail made no problem at all. I bring my shield maiden. Okay. Mine are working. Yeah. So here we are. Where are we going? What are we doing? All right. I'm so we have hole. two choices from here. Mm-hmm. We can either take the passage up toward Cockatrice Central, which I've got a wall over. We can take the passage uh, to the east, which heads toward the Statue of Anubis, or we can take the passage south, which heads to uh, uh, the, what do we call that thing? The Greater Beholder and also our Harp from Hell. And actually, that's a passage west to go to Anubis, buddy. 
Oh, sorry, I said east. My mistake. Correct. That's okay. We are coming from the east. My apologies. Can we, can we, we hold the beholder now? Well, so we you can, can always try, my friends. Here's here's our challenge. Um, uh, I don't have yet an understanding of how the waterfall works, and that seems to strip magical ability from me and formerly from Drone, and now I would say Orlando. Now I was a little bit lower in tact, and so MR might allow me to resist that. But yeah, if, if, if you and I and Levi got around him, I'll bet we could put the hurting on that effort, um, especially since I can sunglass you and Levi and myself. However, I just don't understand the waterfall. Well, now, when we you go say around the waterfall, if we created a mist and just there, there is, so I go through it, I can't get you guys through it. Is my problem. And, and I know your sunglasses stop a Medusa's glare, but it, I don't think it stops the beam from a beholder. Gaze reflection, yes, it's specific. I looked it up. Okay, very good. I believe you. I'll send you the knowledge base article so you have it. No, that's let's, all right. It's no problem at all. Let's let you investigate the waterfall later and let's go yeah. down towards the statues okay yeah all right um right wait which statues the statues of anubis or the statue of anubis yeah oh, the okay so we're, we're gonna head west jim no problem i know right where it is so i'll take you right to the statue i don't think we've addressed this but walt is now playing a new character correct yes he yes. is walt tell us about your buddy uh very quiet and si sitting in the background he was sent from the Temple of Horus to uh, recover Dron's body uh, and uh, only managed to send back a finger in a coffin because somebody might be hoarding all the pieces. Uh, <laughs> uh, he, uh, he is uh, remaining at the, uh, at the back uh, with a bow uh, in hand. Uh, he, has, uh, he is covered in blue robes uh, where, uh, with some sort of uh, chain underneath uh, and uh, has uh, um, has just been quiet and waiting for his turn to shoot stuff. Does he consider himself a doom seeker? Uh, he is uh, a seeker of sorts. So until until such time, uh, like I put on all my character sheets, uh, dude gets a better name if he lives. So okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Right. Very good. Okay, so now here we are at the statue of Anubis, and. Uh, and there's a bowl of gems in, in front of the statue. And there's lots of directions to go. And, and you guys know that there's a secret stairway behind the statue that goes to the orc level. Does Fever want any of those gems, Chrometheus? Goth Chrometheus? Fever can't detect any gems in that bowl. So she does not want them is the important thing. No, or it's an illusion. She she doesn't detect them, so there's there's nothing to want or not want. Yeah. All right. Do now, I do we do we just see so she, gem? just so you know, James, just for purposes, she now has a gem of absorption slotted. So you'll have to get with Andrew on how that the mechanics of that work. Okay. Very good. Does okay. the uh, gems um, appear real, given my ability to see through illusions? Oh yeah, they're absolutely real. They're wondrous gems. So I'll call Chrometheus over and ask him to assess the value of said gems. But didn't Fever just say nothing there? Fever didn't want them. That doesn't mean they're not there. No, no, it no. Mean... The, 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 James said that Fever doesn't see him, doesn't detect them. At all. But Nick, Chrometheus is a thief. He can assess the value of gems. He has gem appraisal. Yes, I, I, have, I have gem assessment. Yeah, each one of those is probably a 5,000 gold piece gem. But you, you, the, when you think about even taking one of them, the hair is on the back of your neck rise, and you, you don't like the feeling. That seems funky. Yeah. 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 I mean, a, a good central. friend Dro killed a titan. I'm sure you can kill a god. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Always a great idea. Anger the so, gods. How far did we get with the orcs last time? Um, here, we got a couple of rooms in. Let me pull up the map. An anti Karen field. <laughs> Good to have dreams, boys. It is. Did you ever kill a god while he's looking that up, James? Never. Are you kidding? kidding? Never, ever. In old I, school, I, no. I met, you just get beaten on. Yeah, I know. I met several of them. And I even, did you guys make, why did you guys make stats for them? Yeah, it, it was the worst thing. 
we made stats because people people wanted to deal with them. They wanted to talk with them, and actually, the the crazy kids wanted to fight them and and kill them and brag about it. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I mean but- that that DDs and demigods that's still getting used by people in games. So I'm very proud of that uh, that little accomplishment. You should combat Loth. Yeah, yeah, really. Okay, so yeah, um, you didn't we did, didn't we kill all the orcs or didn't we like not even close, not no, even we, close. we took out some orags, so we we knocked over the shamans, uh, we butchered a bunch of happy things. Um, all right, so which we, we killed the ones we saw. Yes, we we killed three sets in a row. So here I can show these maps one at a time, and then we can chew on what to do about. It. Well, let's chew fast so we get the party so the audience some action. All right, here we go. So take a look at the maps and make some decisions based on what you see. Okay, so our maps are oh damn it. Oop. Uh, Weirdness just appeared. And where are they going? Okay, so we got the we got the guy. After we come down the stairs, we came in where the beds were. Um that's the, the one gateway we do not want to go to because that's what strips our magic. We've got, um, uh, the, we could go through the back way here. This is uh, when we travel through the teleport area. And the last one is which one? Is it this one? No, I want that. And here is the last one. And so here's where the statue is. So. We come down the stairs, we go into the main room. We then can either choose to go toward where the broken beds were, where this weird thing is. We have not gone down this hallway here or from here where the, uh, the orc king was, we could go down uh, whatever that open passage is. Don't know that either. Okay, let's, so, let's go from where the orc king was. So Jim, can we go down the corridor uh, and turn east? No, you got you got to go down the stairs and deal with the guards first. Oh, um, all right. Uh, actually, you're still stealthy. Oh God, he's in cloak of shadows. There's nobody there. Um, can you look? I'll whisper to Chrometheus just so you're going to enjoy what this thing will do. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to get you up to speed, but um, I'm going to uh, uh, touch him and uh, connect through uh, telepathy and basically tell him. Uh, force yourself in corporal and there's nothing they can hit and you can take a good very quiet look around I've basically doubled your hide and shadows move silently so you cannot be seen in any way unless you literally light yourself on fire so I won't light myself on fire and I will do that Jim I'll go down there and check out the guards okay very good so you get on the stairs a little way and you turn bright green in fire okay (laughs) <laughs> and you make you make a bunch of weird well uh, i don't i'm immune to fire yeah no you're not getting hurt by it at all you're just okay. being outlined by the fairy fire you're, you're, you're a human torch and, wait a minute fairy fire only works on corporal beings he's not corporal at the moment uh, <laughs> See ya. i'm here all week are you positive fairy fire only works on corporal beings really really all really right. Gary so, said it wouldn't. Gary said it wouldn't work on a ghost, so he is the equivalent of a ghost as far as Ethan. Okay, and and I suppose if he steps on a trap, he doesn't trip it either. He's not. Uh, he's not physical at the moment. Demi plane of shadows. So the only thing that would affect him would be something demi uh, six or higher level circle magic. Demi shadow magic. Demi shadow monster. Monster summoning seven, etc. Yeah, yeah stuff do works it. down half. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're right. Orcs don't have them. You see 20 ogres and five ogre shaman down there. And the ogre shaman are spell casting. Do they see him? Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. You're on, you're literally not on our plane of existence. All right. Oh. What about uh what about the uh the the things that attack in the astral plane? Um, Astral wouldn't notice him, but uh, a shadow would or a specter would. Those okay. are the only two that I know. I can't, that I can't get you with either one of those yet. Correct. Okay. So. so anyway, you see, you see a pretty strong force of ogre, ogres and uh, ogre shop shaman. 
And so can you give me the layout of the force where they're at? Like it, it's just you're it's a long staircase. Okay. And and there's probably 10 ogres on the stairs and all the rest are in a big landing. Down is it the, the 80 by 100 room still or is it the hallway? Because no, we have two different vision yeah, points. No, there. it's it's a hallway. You okay. guys are, aren't in the other one yet. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I will return to Wordna and inform him of the force. Cool. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to say, do you think a, a cloud kill would be nice and upsetting and suck them all up and we get some free food for you? Yep. It's sort of like giant chow. Yeah. Cloud all right. kill. All right. Um, I'm going to, uh, Jim, say uh, a shadow will cross the sky. Uh, okay. Before you do that. Really? Okay. Where is everybody standing at the present time, starting with Levi? In the back, wherever the back is. In the know. back is fine. And that takes us to Prometheus. I'm standing next to Verdna. How long does he remain insubstantial? Uh, until he's not. Okay. That takes us to Orlando. Uh, I'm back at the castle. Uh, no, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> That's probably behind, the safest. I'm right behind Levi. Okay, so wherever good. Levi is, I'm behind him. Excellent. Lance? At the front, as it should be. As it should be. Okay, very good. Now cast that spell, buddy. Uh, and he will still come in its path, and death will come from the skies. And I will uh, happily send my cloud field down and around the corner. And what's the level that that thing affects these days? Um, oh. oh these days. Um, so... I don't know if there's a hit dice limb. Hang on, I'll tell you. I think there is, actually. I think it's like 5d6. I know that's true for stinking cloud, but I don't know about cloud. I think I just killed you. Uh, stop, stop. <laughs> uh, hang on. Actually, no, you're correct. <sighs> I'm like a freaking genius, aren't I? You are. Not quite as good as Andrew, but I'm pretty dang good. Um... Uh, all my creatures up to six hit dice uh, say will be slain instantly. Love that. Okay. Everything else is get, at least gets a say. Okay, very good. So you send it down. Mm -hmm. I'll watch it. I can see 240. So you get, you get, you get a bunch. Yeah, I know you can see 240. That's another bane of my existence. Yeah. You get um, you get the first four, and then the whole cloud sweeps back on you guys. Okay. We're gonna try and, go we're gonna try and send it back. Hold on, real quick. I can. Yeah. Fix it. How can you fix it up, my friend? Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't you like breezy naturally? Yeah, I have. Um, <laughs> I have here. Control winds. Love that. Okay, that's terrific. So, um, on your melee round, you'll be able to do that. Yes, sir. Uh, Everybody make the uh, the poison gas saving throw. Wait, what was the distance between the two? And that will determine how fast it moves. It moves pretty darn fast. Uh, change in direction is five segments. Yeah, okay. This one did two and a half segments. So they've, they've improved. Oh, really? Okay. I like these, that. These ogre well, shaman Jim, are can really I, can good. I ask at least for an initiative roll? Because we're just standing there doing nothing. See, right, the okay, two of so, us are 20 dexterity, so we should be a little bit nibble. So uh, what, uh, what are we looking for for us? Uh, say, okay, so be, first one, or Prometheus die. buddy, Prometheus buddy, yes, roll sir. six side of die on a one or a two, your group is surprised. Okay. Is, but my, is that but, a, but is my that group a, gets a bonus, though, due to my monk awareness. I, I'd be able to give a, a early You know, warning. that would be true if you were in the front, but you're way in the back. But he and I are, and we're both plus five reaction attacking at this one. We're both 20 next there, which is crazy. Uh, uh, all right, on a one, you're surprised. Roll. Six. Oh, that sucks, rocks. Okay, so you will do initiative now. And we'll we'll have we'll have the giant roll initiative this time. I rolled Thanks. a very respectable 14. You rolled a 12. Okay, very good. So now all of you make your saving throw against poison gas. Uh, uh, one, one, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, it's it's your spell. You're saving versus my spell. Yes. Got a 17. Tell me what the giant save is. It's Yours? one better. It's one better than your current saves right now as a fighter. <clears throat> as the giant that like doesn't. What, it's what it's slow. You're you're slowly changing into a giant, 
you, you don't get all the way there. So you're a seven then. Yeah. Oh, did I make it? Yes. 11. Every, did everybody make it? Yes. Okay, you fiends. So I now it's time for the giant to do his thing. I control winds and force the cloud kill back down at them. Okay. I start laughing at them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice. Thank you, Weird, now very much. And I give him the finger. <laughs> oh, and also, I make John's head the wind. It comes from there. I, <laughs> blow it I through definitely will enchant head. that as a magic item. You know, I think you're having a little bit too much fun with John's, John's former body. <laughs> I'm working through some issues. He was my friend. He's, he's, he's definitely trying to make me. <laughs> this is a form of mourning. Yeah. Okay. It really is. We're taking that's it awesome. well, though. Okay. All right, so it goes down, it kills two more ogres, and then it dissipates completely. Well, um, am, am I seeing that it's being dispelled? You can't tell. Uh, can I get a spellcraft roll on that? Give me a six-sided die. Tell me the number. Six. Uh, it, it got dispelled by four dispels. Okay. All right, damn. In the future, Nick, remind me that we're going to start adding chain lightning to this to make it really <laughs> upsetting. Yeah, wonderful. So he can only do that a few yes. times a day, and he's already done this quota of chain lightnings today. That was yesterday. That was yeah, yesterday. Yes. Remember, that I, was yesterday. Oh, I that's what you guys, you guys waited a day, didn't you? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So who are the two people in front? Me and uh, Chrome. Okay, so Wait. whole person saves at minus two, both of you. Okay. And naturally, oh. weirdly, you get your magic resistance. I'll MR first, green. 39. I just, I, want, I just want you to know it's under duress. So I feel like I should be in front. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm never in front. I'm in front because we were showing them the balls. Yes. And Prometheus, okay. did you save? Yes. I just want to ask because I'm learning my character. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Um, uh, uh, Andrew. There was something about my strength about not being held by doors. This is also applied. Oh, uh, yes. So that's true. So if you fail... Uh, you roll a 20-sided to see if you can break uh, non-magical uh, uh, whole person, whole portal, whole monster, all those. And for uh, a storm giant, it's uh, 17 and 20. That's irritating. If you if you fail. Good memory. Thank you for that. Okay. I don't remember well, reading that. Is, that. is that in my monster manual? Is that in some other monster manual? No, no. I was just taking it from the strength table in the uh, player's handbook. Oh, okay. Very good. Magic, right. magic held and locked. I made okay. the save. I made the save. Okay, that's excellent. Now, so and oh wait, you don't. I would. I'll take that back, Prometheus. You don't need to make a save because you're still ethereal. That's true. Yeah. So we're not. Uh, nothing stopping big throwing spears from hitting you, right? I'm awesome. Stone skin. That's something. Uh, you have bark skin up, right? Stone. Stone skin. Like real quick, Stone though, skin. we were yeah. we were sending stuff down and around a corner. Yeah, yeah, I took care of it. It's uh, yeah, you sent it. It killed a couple more ogres, and right. now, and now so are they are they now in line of sight? They were always in line of sight. They were on the stairs. No, we were oh. sending things down. Yeah, I thought they were in the hallway. I guess I misunderstood. You definitely misunderstood. There was a bunch of them on the stairs, and of a bunch of them on the landing. That's what I said. Got it. I missed that completely. Okay, okay, it's quite right. Anyway, um, stone skin. So let's pretend. Let's just pretend that you get um nine spears thrown at you, oh. and four hit. Because of your stone skin, does all that damage go away? You have to give me the total, and I'll see if you overwhelm my total that I can take. Excellent. Thank you very much. Then I'm gonna whisper to Lance. Now would be a good time. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he can hear you because he's ethereal. Lance. No, that was Lance. Oh, Lance. Lance, Lance is behind me saying, I should be in front. I'm like, yeah. All right, All right so because he said that, I'd like to use my action to charge ahead. Okay, and just let me get all these spears in, in weirdness yeah. chest. Yeah, well, I mean, I would like to eyes. charge into the spears <laughs> with my shield out. No, that's not going to happen. They have initiative. You guys don't. Yeah, we, okay. we fold it. 22 points. Oh, no, I can still take that. Yeah, I didn't like that, but I can take that. Okay, now, so... The next round, your stone skin won't stop the damage, right? Uh, uh, I'll stop 23 of it, and then it'll choke. And then okay, my, armor class will, my armor class will move up four positions, and I'll go from uh, a zero to a four, and you'll be uh, going at the meat of the man. 
Okay, that sounds Andrew, great. Andrew, let me ask this question real quick. The gem of absorption, would it have absorbed the whole person? No. Um, well, I, actually, it could have, if right, if you had held that as your action, but because you used a spell, unfortunately, now you only get one attack around as a monster. Yeah. So, but yes, but you did the right thing by us uh, feeding the cloud back down on him. Okay. Yeah, that was so, too bad. So yeah, for the rest of us out there, you knew he's... You can absolutely start sucking their spells, and that'll make me laugh even more. <laughs> The rest of us knew he was always a monster. Yeah, now, exactly. I know. Lance, keep in mind, if it's our actual combat round, you can stand for the next one because uh, Prometheus is in Corporal. Hey, what, what, one other question. Some of us have that Ion Stone or the equivalent thereof. Okay, you don't have stone. an Ion Stone. Get that out of your vocabulary so I don't get sued <laughs> into the Stone Age. Thank you very much. It's still we, being we have a, they, they we have, we have we have a special stone, yeah, you know, that that had absorbed a whole bunch of mag magic missiles. Uh, there we go. Yeah. What, what 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 were what was the power of those things? I mean, I I just want to understand. Magic which... missile is one d four plus one. Right. You can now okay. spit missiles back, however many you sucked up. And I guess okay. in the future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start casting magic missiles at you with the stone, and then you can <laughs> shoot out a ton. So remind well, me of that. Well, that, that that was my question. Is the power of the magic missile? That's absorbed the same power that goes back out, yes. or is it whatever you get, you give? Exactly right. The spell okay. specific is what comes back. You okay, know, because the magic missile that we absorbed was, I, I thought, was like a, a high powered. No, no, no. One. No, 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 you were taking individual, they all took individual missiles, so it was just the single. Okay. Shot. Okay. But we can put more into it. So you got the right, right answer. We just have okay. to change the answer. Yeah, dream on, Monk. Dream on. All right. Oh, I just want to know what's in my arsenal. So yeah. Do we roll for initiative now, or what do we do? No, no, we lost, so now we go. So now, it's now, now it's you guys' turn. Exactly you right. Start, and because you're in corporal, you have to decide if you're going to make a corporal action or not, and then Lance can go because he can step right next to me as I fire a spell, and I'm going to run away. He's not doing that if Prometheus goes corporal. Oh, that's I, am not, I am not going corporal. I am ordering my shield maiden forward. No, no, you're not. She can't hear you. Okay. Yeah, you're you're 100 cloak. She won't even know you're there. Oh, no. I'm 100. Well, I'm 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 still non-corporal. Okay, very good. All right, Lance, you have the calm. All right, I'm stepping forward and uh, advancing on the on the dastardly foe. Okay, shield they're out. Of course, th they're big boys. So what? Well, uh, well, what just it, makes them easier to stab? I have less okay. chance of missing. Who, who, who's in the front that we're facing right now? I mean, uh, yeah, it's, so, ogre. it's, it's ogre, ogre warriors right ogre? now. Can you, oh, sorry, what are they? It's ogre warriors. Okay, ogres. So basically, James, I'm holding my action until the end of the round. Okay, that sounds fine, buddy. Where, uh, where are the, how many of the spellcasters are left if we killed four? You didn't kill any spellcasters. Oh. Are they in line of sight? The spellcasters are way in the back. Yes, you could use a bow on one of them. Yeah, we're talking uh, a two armor class. And I gotta write down the ogres you've already killed. Let me pull that up. Oh, stop, everybody! Just a second, Walt. I would like to hear about things that can be said for sale. Oh, awesome! <laughs> uh, how how fortuitous! Yes, uh, CJ, would you like to tell us a little bit about the series that you have going on right now? Um, sure. Um, in a world. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Very well said, Orlando. Yeah. Where, where magic and game-like rules are as real as swords and knives, a former uh, computer gamer who finds himself trapped in, a fan in this fantasy land has to survive at all costs. That's Twilight Templar, book one of four, all four of which are now available on Amazon. Well, if you, done. if you are not reading that on Friday night, then I don't want to be friends with you. <laughs> That's awesome. Back to the action. Thanks, CJ. Appreciate it. Okay. Lance, you got uh, two ogres on the steps there with you. <laughs> Which one is closest? That's the one I'm attacking. They're both on the same step, and you're, you're the, the two steps up. I'm going to stab the same one all three times because I've got three attacks with my weapon of choice. And what's the uh, weapon? Uh, a long sword. Okay, go. All right. I got... Armor class three. Armor class three. All right, let me re-verify because I thought it was a two. Uh, armor class three. 
Uh, 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 uh. Yep, still hit. All right, um, and so they are large creatures. So let me add these up for you. They sure are. So it's all about the large oh, creatures. They just fall harder. What was the largest thing you ever faced or in a in a D and D game, James? Ooh, that's a good question. I think a bell rock for sure. When they, when they were called bell rocks. Right <laughs> under the real name. It was pretty frightening, I'll tell you. We uh, I had a staff of power, so I could throw um, rays of cold at it, and uh, that did extra damage. But it took me forever to kill it. We I had a group of six, and we were all like tenth level, and we fought most of the afternoon against the thing, and and he did horrible things to us, and finally we killed it. Was that like blowing out a birthday candle? Very much like it, yes. And I, and I got the whip, so I was very happy because uh, the whip the, that burns with every attack is pretty neat. Andrew, why, why are you hooded? Because I'm trying to avoid getting hit. <laughs> uh, Lance, I, go ahead. I normally keep it back down here, but hey, I'm in the front line. I'm not supposed to be in the front you line. You are not supposed to be in the front line. I just hit 44 points of damage, and I'm sure I just stabbed him in the balls and denutered him. Or well, neutered him. You, you did tremendous amounts of damage to the boy. So that takes Boy, us to. I don't know if he still is. Not nah, yeah, yeah. That takes us to Nazem. Uh, I'm going to fire over everybody's heads, uh, or rather between Nick's legs, and uh, 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 try and take out one of those shamans in the back. Ooh, that's a long shot. Go ahead. You're at a minus two to hit. That I'm not scared. I'm specialized with a bow. And there's threes. Uh, they were. Um, so I hit uh, with two sheaf arrows. Those are nice. Uh, and uh, the first one does 11 points. Okay. And the second one does 14 points. Okay. 11 and 14. Points. All right. Very good. That takes us to our good friend, Lance Orlando. I will bless the congregation. Oh, excellent. They're all happy to get that. Which takes us to Levi. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and aim at a uh, shaman in the back. And okay. Yeah, you can do that. I, I'm assuming my stuns and stuff don't apply to bow skills. You can assume uh, that, yes. All right. That's uh, disappointing. But okay. Uh, an AC3? Yes. First one is a hit. Just give me the and, total damage. Okay. And all right, let me. All right, I got two hits. Uh, uh, wow, that uh, math is hard, huh? Yeah. <laughs> six, six. Uh, so hold. Uh, Seventeen points of damage. Thank you very much. They're not draconic, Prometheus. are they? Prometheus yeah. is going to send a bunker buster. No, we, take I care of them. I, 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 yeah, I wish they were draconic. Weird, huh? How many uh, shamans are there that I can see? Two. You can see two. You know there's four. Park it at the two. They both save at minus one. Okay, very good. Okay. And Prometheus, now's the time if you're going to do something. Okay, um, I cast teleport off a scroll. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm listening. And I teleport <laughs> all four over Shaman into a wall. No, you can't teleport them. They're too far away. Is that true? Don't, don't give me the face. Of course it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and don't, don't go asking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do do why, not why go asking I... Andrew if that's true or not. Let me assure you. Yeah. How it's come true. I can't? Why? Because you got, first of all, teleport is supposed to teleport you. Okay. It doesn't teleport you. You can teleport some other people, but you got to be touching them when they when you teleport them. Oh, okay. See, I just yeah, have to Teleportation has two variants. The one that does other people is actually a separate spell. It's called teleport other. Okay. So that's the problem. So teleport I, takes you and something. Okay. I will hit the ogre shaman in the back with a fireball. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Want to roll the 6d6, please? I sure do, sir. Give Thank me you. the number. These are too bad. This is 
horrible things for these guys. 18 points of damage. Well done. Six dice, right? I'm sorry, what? Wait, it's six dice, 66. Yes, right? 66. Yes, yes, yeah. that's what it is. Okay, now is initiative time again. We're going to have uh, Levi roll initiative. I rolled a very respectable 17. Ooh. You rolled. I rolled a five. Okay, very good, a five. You know, Don't you, can, do. you can always count on Levi. You really yep, can. Yep, yep. No, he someone send that man paladin dice. Yeah. Uh, really. so, so, so sometimes I, I've gotten okay. You were at balls of solid rock last week. You yeah. took them on over yeah, and really. over. So, and over. so I've got Levi and no, no, I've got Weirdna and Lance up front. Is that what I've got? Yes. Hey, that's what I wanted to hear. Don't worry, I'll protect you. You need to get yeah, out the back. It. Get to the back. Yeah, get in front. What the hell are you doing? I, I thought I was in front. That's what I had directed. You are in Step front, in front of me. Save the wizard. Okay. Wait, wait, where's the shield maiden? That's shield. right. God damn it. But standing right by Prometheus. I'm going to call up on my son Aramis to uh, protect well, the wizard. Okay. So hold on real quick, Jim. If she's standing by me, which I asked for her to do, yeah, she has a shield of missile deflection. Yeah, great. Okay. So it deflects all missiles. Yeah. That, yeah. When they're aimed at you, when they're aimed at her. Okay. And they're not. She's she's 19 steps up from where the missiles are getting thrown. So okay. Andrew or uh, Andrew should be just standing behind the shield maiden. He's I not. So. No, I'm not. He's, but he was. Can, nice. can I call Aramis up to protect the wizard? Uh, when it's your turn, but so far it's the monster's turn. We're gonna have to swap some of that battle art. Yeah, really. Well, I'll just go back to my position, assuming I'm not a tender on the end. Yeah, really. <laughs> 32 for Andrew. Oh, now now we're biting into the uh, meat and potatoes. Okay. Is that a euphemism? Yeah, really. I was thinking the same I'm, thing. I'm mostly potatoes. <laughs> I know. Okay. And 14 for our good friend Lance, because he's almost impossible to hit. How many monsters are we facing right now, Jim? Um, Right now you're looking at nine warrior ogres. And three um, shaman ogres. One of them died. Really and it, aren't and, we all and there are <laughs> no. And they are. There are more there that are that are in the back. Does so, one of the in this round? Can we see that one of the shaman is held? Uh, you can't tell. And uh, I so, thought I would know that if I was successful. No. Why would you know that if you were successful? Because I'm a wizard, and it's in my book. Yeah. No. <laughs> if he's just standing there doing a spell or trying to do something mental, you wouldn't c couldn't tell if he was froze or not. Okay. So yeah. that takes us to my good friend Levi. What would you like to do? Oh, this round. is this is you guys' round. You guys can mix and match and round organize two. yourselves if you want. So I, I was gonna continue uh, beating on the shamans from afar. Yes, sir. Uh, all right. So uh, they're kind of squishy. Uh, first one's a hit, and second one's definitely a hit. Um, uh, and we've got oh, it's miserable. Uh, Eleven points of damage. Thank you very much. That's what I wanted to hear. Weird, nah. So um, I'm going to need you to rule on uh, um, per pound per square foot on my wall of iron instead okay. of actually making Before it a wall. It before right. you do that, are yeah. you going to continue to stand in the front, bold as uh, brass? You, uh, I'll, I'll have an answer for that when I find out uh, my <laughs> understanding of the question. Okay. Um, so based on the volume I can create for wall of iron, yes. instead of putting it upright, I'm going to uh, invert it and then drop it. So it's a five-segment spell, so I can do it very quickly. Yeah. So what would be my total weight uh, based on... Uh, per square foot. Oh, it'd be, it'd be. If you many just tell me what one pound is, I can do the rest of the math. It'd be many tons. Awesome. Okay, dokie. So I'm going to do the full size thing and target it on top of the shaman. Uh, so 15 per one at two, so 90, 180. So just uh, about 180 square feet. Okay. So tons, as you said. Okay. And then I'll say bite me uh, <laughs> after I do it. Uh, oh, but the cool thing about this. How mature of you? I know. 
Let's just see if we can end the biggest okay, Very problem. good. All right, and that does that. No, that's not very Never nice. used a wall of iron as a weapon. It's a horrific thing. That takes us to Nazim. I'm going to dump a couple more arrows into that same shaman, or did we, we, did we ruin that guy's day already? I don't know if there's a lot of It's simultaneous, buddy. Well, no, from the last round. No, they, they were all still very much alive. Got it. All right, same guy. Uh, okay. Two more shots. All right. Uh, uh, yep. So I got an 18 and a 19. Wow. Uh, damage for the first one is 15. Second one, ooh, that one's 16. That's nice. 15, 16, 31. Okay. Very good. Takes us to the mighty Cremetheus. I'm going to go corporeal. Okay, excellent. And I'm going to order the shield maiden in front of the wizard and to protect him. Okay. Very good. That's what she does. Okay. Takes us to Lance. You're muted, Boomer. <laughs> we, we so got to make we, we got to make that like a ringtone or something, <laughs> <laughs> or a t-shirt. Yeah, Elvis was too young to be a Boomer. He's younger than all of us. I know. Yes, but Elvis was howling, and I didn't think the audience wanted to hear that. Um, so you, have to, you, have to, you have to say muted, Xer. Jr's got <laughs> mileage, so he's a Boomer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to use one of my three attacks to call uh, Aramis up to the front to uh, protect the wizard as well. Everybody uh, wants to protect the wizard. And uh, he will also take his attack, or is the guarding the wizard his attack? Guarding the wizard is the attack. All right. So I'm going to take my other two attacks for a total of... No, no, that's what you did. I got three attacks per round. Yeah, I, you know, and I'm with you 100% on that. But you turned around and you said, Aramis, come down I, here. Why I do I have around, to come? Sir. I, I would never turn my back yeah, to the yeah, okay. Let, let, let me continue on here as the referee of the game. Aramis, <laughs> come down here. Help me with this wizard. And Aramis says, why do I have to do that? And you patiently explain to him that the wizard is taking tremendous amounts of damage and you don't want him to die. And so in that explanation, you used up all your round. See, that's a parenting fail. As a point of order, I would say because I said so. God dang it. And get your ass over here. So, you know, I don't have a problem with that. Roll a six out of die. And in a five or six, that works perfectly. I got four. Yeah, okay. That doesn't you work. failed as a parent. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm going to tell her I'm no longer crunchy on the outside. <laughs> yeah, really. Orlando, what would you like to do? I'm going to heal our um, squad. You're going to gonna heal who? Um, Warden, of course. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, for three points. Three points, Warden. Thanks, brother. Okay, and now they, they did their thing. You did their thing, okay? So that's um, the end of the round. How many does the wall mush at 180 square feet? Well, it it mushed a lot. Okay, first of all, you can't do 180 square feet because you have a 10 yard wide staircase. So you you lip, flashed it down on top of the staircase, okay. and it, it went all the way down to the landing. So you killed everything from the staircase to the landing. Okay. So, so how, like, how how wide is the staircase again? A he ten said ten yard, yards. Ten yards wide. Since I targeted the sorcerers, the spellcasters, uh -huh, uh -huh. where um, where is it in relation to what's still in front of them that's alive? Yeah, there's nothing in front of them alive. Okay, and then behind them, what's still alive? Uh, it's around the corner. You don't know. Got it. Okay. Then. Okay. Well, I'll step back behind the shield bane and say thanks. All righty. That takes us to. Um, they're doing their thing, unknowns to you guys. Oh, wait, actually, we have to do initiative. Right. That that takes us through, um, Lance, what, what, roll. Oh, go ahead. Well, what, what what's still standing uh, I mean, in front of us? In front of us? Nothing. It's all, all, you, all you see is now you see an inclined plane that's an iron wall yeah. that, that goes all the way down to the bottom landing. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And Lance, roll initiative, please. I rolled a, a fun slide. We have I a rolled slide. a brilliant 16, Lance. Oh, and I've got a mighty 19. Uh, apparently, I failed at parenting, but one at a dice roll. There we go. <laughs> nice. Okay. You were gambling. That's what you were spending your time doing. You weren't parenting. You were gambling. I apparently. know. So Poor Aramis. I'm going to have to discipline him later. Now, we have, we have a, a Valkyrie 
and we have uh, a wolfoid protecting Andrew. So Andrew, what are you going to try to do um, when these guys kind of get in your way? I'm happy right now. You're going to stand there and do nothing. Uh, oh, am I going first? I'm tattering you first because you have the biggest problem moving. I, I, and why do I have a problem moving? Because you got these two guys in your way and they've never coordinated with you. So, you know, you, you try to move forward and you bump into the wolfoid and then you try to move forward and you bump into the hot girl. So it's, it's a terrible problem. I'll clap and now in wraith form, I'll glide down the stairs. In wraith form. Okay, you're all at the bottom of the stairs. That Will takes I us to, you don't see anything. It took you all your turn to get to the bottom of the stairs. How, how long are the stairs? The stairs are, now you're making me work. Andrew, we've talked about this before. Single segment spell. 20, 30, 40, 70 yards plus the landing. So a total of 70 and 30, a total of 100 yards. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I get it. Very good. He gets it. Which takes us to Levi, the incomparable. Well, I'm invisible, and I uh, take a little slide down to ha hang out with Word Enough for a bit, looking okay, around. Okay, very good. Takes us to Prometheus the Mighty. I shall uh, advance with my um, advance with my shield maiden in front of me to join Word Enough. Nope, nope. The shield maiden's in front of Andrew. You gave her that command to guard the wizard. No. Nope. Now I you're giving her a new command. I just did. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Prometheus. I didn't get that new command. What is the new command? To to advance in front of me as I move forward. Okay, so she's going to walk back to where you are, and she's going to I was get standing in. right next to Wordnut the whole time. Uh, now does, he's moved forward. So it's just her forward. and I standing there. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... And I, I beg to differ with you, my good friend, but Please. basically what happened is Wurden moved, she and the Wolfoid moved. Oh, wait, 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 okay, wait. then that's great. I, so I, 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 you, but that's not what happened. So in the Wraith form, aren't you invisible? <laughs> yeah, no, you said he was in Wraith form and he just moved right past them. Right. right. Yeah, and, I'm not in corporal. I just go yeah. through. Yeah. Yeah, but so, aren't you, you're ghostly though. You're a Wraith. Mm -hmm. Well, sort of. Yeah. I, I, uh, the only thing that it does is undead will basically ignore me. Right, but you can be else. you can be seen a little bit. Yes, right, but you said yeah. his problem was that they were in his way, so he okay. used the yeah. one to move past them. All right, and, and this is your first argument of the day, my good friend. I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> so what happened was he bumped into the wolfoid, then he bumped into the girl, and then he said, "Okay, I'm doing race for him," and then he went right past them, and so they said. Okay, we have our orders from our masters to okay. go and be in front of him all the time. So they both rushed down there to get in front of him. Okay, that's all I wanted was them to be up there. So that's very a, good. Okay, so, so no, so hold on. Okay, now I know now I can do an action. There we go. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so now I will join them. Okay, excellent. We're all down on the landing now, except for a couple. Uh, that takes us to uh, Orlando. What are you doing? Um, I'll go um, halfway to, to where I'd be like half the distance away from the group. I'm with you. Okay, so you're 40 yards away from the group. Yeah. Lance? Uh, I'm going to charge ahead as usual and do the stabby stabby. You're going to rush around the corner then? It's, it's just the way. Okay, fine. That takes us to Nazim. Uh, more arrows, more arrows, more arrows. You're no, you have nothing to shoot at right now. Uh, oh, because they're all around the corner? Yes. Um, charge up to the front. Okay, very good. So everybody but Orlando now is, is at the bottom of the landing looking around the corner, and you see our buddy Lance the Cavalier caught in very thick webs. And he can't he can't move an inch. He's I'm captured. strong enough. I ripped them. Uh, and yes, on your turn, you will be able to do that. Unfortunately for you, it's not your turn. So, are there any enemies? They're they're all over the place, buddy. 
Okay. You, got, you got them on the north and the south of you and in a big room. They're just all over, but they really want to kill our buddy Lance, which makes oh, are good we gonna Wait, are we going to roll initiative? Uh, it's it's their initiative, Prometheus. You guys rolled a 19. I rolled a 17. Uh, no, our initiative was to move forward. Y yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. Okay, this is your second argument of the day. <laughs> you all moved down to the landing. That was that was 100 yards of movement. So there you are at the bottom of the landing. You can and look around the corner. It would now be a new round. No, no. You had the opportunity to attack us in the last round. <sighs> Prometheus, my very good and bosom buddy. Yes, sir. You rolled, your group rolled in a 19 for initiative. Yes, sir. You guys go first. Yes, sir. All of you moved 100 yards down to the bottom of the landing. Okay. Now it is the monster's turn with their 17 initiative to attack Lance, which is the only target they can see. Okay. And that's what they're doing. I laugh at their puny attacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the spirit of that cavalier. So bold, so brave. Okay, poison save there, cavalier. All right, I got a 15. Let me check and see if that made it. Ooh, that sounds good. Should make it. Poison, yep. I need an eight. We're good. Nine points of damage then. I made the save. I yeah, I know. Zero. That's why, that's why you only you take games. nine points of damage instead of death. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, very good. So, um, and, and you can't really turn your head to see all the creatures, but um, you get the sense that there's creatures in the north and there's creatures in the east and there's creatures in the south and they're going to be laying down a heavy barrage, but they can't until you guys remove the webs. So, we have them, they have us surrounded, so they're just where we want them. Yeah, right, exactly. So it's initiative, and my good friend Levi's going to roll initiative. I Again. rolled a, a brilliant 11. He All knows right. you roll badly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 14. 14, okay. Right. Okay, now, Prometheus, you guys are going to go first now, and you guys get to do whatever you want. We're starting with word nah. Could you tell us how many are, how many enemies there are? There's no way to tell because you guys can't see through the webs. Word na. Anel Nathra Uthras Bethro Dusvio Gienve. Dispel magic on the webs. So that's, uh, you know what? They don't go away. That takes us to Levi. That spell should have worked. Takes us to Levi. So, uh, again, our situation is. Spell, uh, webs everywhere. Do we see any obvious creatures? I mean, no, webs uh, completely block your vision to the north, to the east, and to the south. All you see is your very good friend Lance caught in the middle of a massive amount of webs. He's transfixed in them. Okay. Yes. So, but are the webs protecting us from the enemies? Well, you don't, you don't really know. Well, is anyone attacking us? You can you can speculate, of course. No one seems to be attacking you right now, but you know Lance is getting poison thrown at him. Okay. Which takes us to uh, takes us to yeah, Levi. What are you doing, buddy? Well, uh, yeah, I'm just, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm torn uh, <laughs> because I know damn well as soon as I start slicing at the webs, I'm gonna get caught up in them. Um, I know. Isn't that terrible? Maybe they thought of that. So uh, I, I do have a question. Uh, of course are, you do. Yes. Of course. Uh, Why is are no one surprised? Are, are, are the f uh, webs flammable? Typically. Um, they're very flammable. Uh, I, I can't. How about this? I, I, I'm I'm gonna just be invisible and pause because I'm not sure I have a good you answer. You want to hold your action, is what you're saying. There I'm you. going to hold my action. Takes us to our good friend Nazim. Can I, I, <laughs> you're muted! I'm muted, boomer! Uh, can I... Um, if I hit this thing with an arrow, will it... Will uh, What do you call it? The, uh, the webs <laughs> with an arrow? Will that... Uh, will that uh, free our friend Lance enough to I move I don't out? think you've ever hit webs with an arrow before in your entire character lifespan. Well, I'm going to try it. 
I'm going to try it to try and free my friend. Okay, very good. The, the arrow gets caught in the webs and naturally does nothing. Wow. Oh, okay. The uh, KTF fiend said, if only someone had thought to bring a broom of web dispelling. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that have been handy? Yes. Um, Prometheus, have you done your thing? No. Please. Using my 24 strength, I reach and pull him out. Okay, that's, you know, you know, he has a 19 strength, but if you want to try reaching in and pull him out. I think Andrew was telling me that, like, I can bust whole doors and things. You like can. That. You can do amazing things. Give me a 20 sided right. die and roll higher than 15, my good friend. Uh, I'm 11. Okay. You, you're caught up in the webs and you start pulling, pulling them away and ruining them. Okay. Which takes us to Orlando. I am going to hold my action. Very good. And last but not least, the brave Lance. I will laugh menacingly at the enemy as I rip myself free from there. Give me a 20 sided die and you must roll higher than a 14. I got an 18. Okay, you start ripping. Okay, Lance, two poison saving throws, please. All right. That's the one I need an eight for. So let's do that. Can he see what's try what's poisoning him? Nope. You got a sixteen and a seventeen. That sounds great. You only take eighteen points of damage. So that's a new Okay. And you're slowed. So you're you're going every other melee round. So let's have someone oh. else roll I'm sorry, go ahead, Levi. No, 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 no. I was gonna joke something. No, no. Okay, very good. So, Andrew, would you please roll initiative? I rolled a brilliant nine. I rolled a one. Oh, well, a natural one. Very nice for me. Okay. You're really hard to hit, even in webs, you bad guy. Okay, two more poison saves, and this time they're at minus two. What what is Loth on the other side of these webs? I mean, yeah, you don't know here? something. So nasty the first one they got a twelve. You said minus two is a ten. It still makes it. Okay, good, good. An eight, and then the second one, I did not make it. Okay, so he he sags in the webs. Remember, you have a black gem that negates a point death poison. Oh, then I can't I can't kill him this turn. So the the gem activates. And he only takes nine points of damage. But then the gem dis disintegrates. It does turn to dust, yes. That but takes it's a his... save, so that's what matters. Yeah, that's what matters, exactly right. So you don't die, Lance, dog on it. And it takes us to weird now. What would you like to do, my friend? Mm. It's a terrible problem. Um, uh, I, will, I will move half my movement through the webs. What do I see? Okay, so a bunch of them have been pulled apart by Lance and Prometheus. So yeah, since I'm not corporal, I don't care. I'm just oh, okay. Forward. Very good. Okay, you see, you see two um, ogre shaman to the east, and mm -hmm. you see big bands of ogres to the north and the south in corridors. What does my really smart intelligence qualify as a band? No, you see more than four. Okay. And I can and, see the two guys to the east, the casters? Yes. All right. Um, how much distance did I travel uh, to come through the webs to the other side? That's a fair question. <laughs> the answer is 20 yards. I came through 20. Okay. okay. All right. Night, Nick, you really need to go into the uh, Twitch chat. They're They're talking to you. <laughs> are, are they being nasty or nice to him? Uh, they said to Greek fire the whole laughing thing, go full ankle or on them. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, that was weird, now. Huh? Um, Levi, what are you trying to do? I'm definitely still holding my uh, move uh, because there's not much I'm going to be able to do. I don't okay. Think. Zim? Um, can I get up to Lance without getting stuck? No. Poop. Um, Pooping isn't is an operation you can do. No, no. no. Uh, <laughs> we're we're going to hold that uh, particular thing. Always possible. Pop, pop a squat. Uh, 
I'm going to start burning the webs. Uh, I'm going to light a torch this round. Okay. You, uh, give me so, a wisdom check. I love wisdom checks, and I have a pretty good wisdom. Yes. Okay, you're pretty positive you'll burn everybody in the webs right now if you set them afire. Well, he's not doing it yet. Yeah, th thank you, Levi, very much. Yeah. What was that, Chrome? Except Prometheus, who's immune to fire. Yeah. Why are you immune to fire, Prometheus? I have a gem that makes me immune to normal fire. My goodness. Yeah, normal fires. Okay, good. Not enchanted fires. And well, lightning. It would just be a torchlight, so it would still be a normal fire. Well, you don't know what those webs are made of. They might be. Unfortunately, you do know they're not magical. So, okay, fine. Never mind. I can't get anything over <laughs> on you. Prometheus, you, you've been ripping up webs. You've ripped up a ton, buddy. Is, I'm trying to get Lance free, not me free. Lance is now free. Okay. Okay, and then it takes us to Lance. I was going to say, now we can use um, a torch. Given my ability to see through illusions, can I see where all of the dastardly poisoners are coming from? Yeah, they're all, they're the two um, ogre clerics that are now, that will, as soon as Orlando takes his turn, shoot some more poison at you. Then I will charge straight at them and them alone. Ignoring everything else on the battlefield. Are, are the webs still up or are they torn apart? There, there's some up and some down. So if you guys that are trying to get through it that don't have a 19 or higher strength will have to roll to see if you can get through. Hmm. Okay, so um, Lance, <coughs> you're going you're to only attack one of these guys. And, uh, and, and then I will and, kill him till he's dead. Well, yeah, we'll see about that, my good friend. Let's make it at... Uh, a minus two on your strike. Go ahead on a two armor class. A two armor class. Let me pull up my Thacko table. All right. I love Thacko. All right. You said minus two? Yeah. All right. So natural 20 for the first one. Ooh, wow. Natural That's 20, James. <laughs> a 15 for the second one. Too That's bad it hit. means nothing, Prometheus. Yeah, I got all three. Okay, do me, so, do me when, total damage on that one. Poor, innocent ogre shaman. I'm creating uh, a campaign, and when I run the game, yes, we, we will be playing with critical. We will be playing with the table from Dragon Magazine. I look. Say goodbye look to so, your eyes and fingers. Yeah, I, look, <laughs> I look so forward to it, Prometheus. Yes, that'll be great. Be a great time 55. for all. Fifty-five points. Oh my goodness. A Seventeen, a sixteen, and a twenty-two. That's a Man. lot. Orlando, what would you like to do? Uh, well, I wanted to cast uh, Cure Light Wounds on Lance. Uh, uh, he's, you of... got you to run through the, the chunks of web to get to him. You sure you want to do it? No, no, no. Not sure okay. at all. Okay, very, very good. All right, so I get one shot at my buddy Lance. And I laugh at your one shot. I kind of won. I miss abysmally. Oh, let's roll on the critical thing. <laughs> He got a 97. Uh, thank you very much. Um, what does a 97 okay, do? So, uh, I'm pretty sure like a 97 <laughs> was like gouge out your own eye or slit yes, your own Or throat. something like that, yeah. Um, <laughs> let's have Andrew roll initiative, please, my good friend. You want to roll for me with a one last time? I rolled a brilliant four. 19. Okay. We start with Nazim, who has gone away. So let's not do. Okay, wait. Well, yes, he's back. Yeah, sorry. Uh, there was a there was a weird thing with like a cat and some sort of power tools. I don't oh, know. It got it got strange here for a second. That's not going to end well. <laughs> no. Um. So uh, no way, no path clear for us us normal mortals through the uh, through the webs. Correct. Uh, right now, all you do is you roll a six set of die, and on a six, you're caught. Otherwise, you can go right through. I'm okay right. with that. The blown knee. Uh, and a minus on dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? I was. I knew you were searching. So I, I see. see. Found the thing. So you, very exciting. So it's a blown knee. That's awesome. Minus um, on dexterity for a ninety-seven. But yeah, when did that come out? I thought that was only a five E thing. No, Chris, that's table. No, no. Yeah. It's this ancient yeah. Chinese secret. Yeah. Yeah. Ancient Chinese secret. Yeah, they had them in <laughs> a couple of Dragon magazines too, right? Yeah. yeah it's yes, they they critical hits. Hey, Walt, is a peanut gallery responding in fun ways? Yeah, they uh, want a copy of whatever word and I just waved in front of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Uh, Twisted ankle, broken neck. 
Outstanding. Snap, spine. Oh, yeah, this is a quality table. Yeah, I'm very of, excited for you to win, Nick. So. Knight of yeah, Barsoom definitely. is saying that, uh, uh, James, he's waiting for you to pull out uh, Cthulhu and Power Armor on Nick. Yeah, that's going to happen pretty quick now. Or a uh, Tyrannosquid. So. Oh, Tyrannosquid. <laughs> Nick just have fun and just wreck stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, like, pervert Nick, change Nick, take you, away. You, you wrecked <laughs> my whips. I mean, you did horrible things to them. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to roll to see if I can get through the webs. I got a okay. three. You got it right through. All right, does that give me... So, uh, north or south, Ulrich left to the east. Say that again? You can you can see a bunch of ogres to the north that will be throwing spears in just a second. A bunch of ogres to the south that will be throwing spears in just a second. And one irritated shaman ogre that really wants to poison Lance to death. Um, okay, so can I get some uh, size squares? What does this look like? When you say size squares, what do you mean? Um, so we've turned the corner. And you yes, you turn the corner. Okay, that's fair. You see a, a 40 yard north and south by 60 yard east and west chamber. And at the at the east end of that chamber are uh, is the dead um, ogre shaman and the living ogre shaman and then um in kind of the middle of the north wall you see a 10 yard wide corridor with a big gaggle of ogres ready to throw spears at you guys and, and there is an east and there is a west passage the the west passage is is the landing and the stairs up oh we're the west okay. yes and then the then the south passage is a gaggle more of um, ogres with spears ready to throw them. Right, so, and there isn't something to the east, only to the north. After that, there, there's a, there's an ogre to an uh, ogre shaman to the east. Okay, but not not a passageway. Not so a there's, passageway. There's, there's two groups of spear chuckers and an organ chant. Ogre shaman. Yes, yeah, yes. I couldn't have put that better myself. I, 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 for a second there, I thought you were going to say organ grinder, and I'm like, I like that better. <laughs> oh um, yeah. That'd yeah. So I'm gonna nice. put... there were other ways that could have gone horribly wrong. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put two into uh, that shaman. The poor guy. Okay. Armor class two. Oh yeah. Whale away. Uh, Ogre that's... shaman never hurt anybody. Yeah, he's, he's about to get hurt. I couldn't have put that better myself. He's there, about to me. get hurt by somebody. Uh, yeah. He, uh, the first one, he takes nine. Mm. And the second one, he takes 15. Uh, so there's there's a total of 14 on that. I mean, uh, excuse me, um, 24 on that one. Okay. That takes us. That was Lazim. That takes us to Prometheus. Uh, can I do chain lightning on uh, Ogre Group 1? To the north or to the south, buddy? Let's go with north. Okay. They're the spear chuckers, right? They're both spear chuckers. Yeah, so I'll hit them with chain lightning. Okay, very good. Uh, what's that doing damage these days? 19 hit dice. <laughs> that is so brutal. Yeah, that is brutal. Okay, you want me, that, me to roll that for you? No, I would, that's, that's Michael, really... Michael, if you would. No, he's not rolling. I'm just killing uh. Okay, well, I'll, uh, that also is acceptable. Yeah. I know that feeling, and I'm sorry for you. <laughs> okay, weird note, what you doing, buddy? I might uh, suggest now might be a morale save time. <laughs> no, I want to kill them all. Not with these boys. Are you sure? Because I've ruined their shit. Th thank you very <laughs> much for, for sharing. You've got one more surprise that you haven't experienced yet. All right. So they're the Antifa of the ogre world, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a never mind. We're not doing politics. We're playing the game. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not. I'm crossing. But the... we are going to trump them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Crossing the corridor and yes. uh, going over to where the shaman is to see if there's anything behind him. Ooh. Um, one, there's nothing behind him. That would mean one shaman thought... has this great big skull staff that you find very interesting. And the other shaman has a skull wand that you find very interesting. Okay. And you can't help but wonder why they didn't use those. Okay. okay. Takes us to Levi. Um, well. You're not in wrath for him, Andrew? I am still, yes. I've never okay. 
become corporal, which is why uh, I'm not throwing spells. Then, then you didn't see those stabs in once. They're they're not visible why? to me. No, you're yeah, you're in wrath form. You you couldn't you would have had to shift the bodies to see them. Well, I can go right through the bodies, actually. Yeah, That's but my you, point. I, I'm with you hundred percent. But he you can't can order his he can order the shield maiden or Aramis to do it. Yeah, no, not when he's in wrath form, you can't. So you 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 didn't see them. They're underneath their bodies. When you change or do something, then under you the, can right, then you right can see that. Them. Okay. Okay. So there's nothing behind the only living shaman that's left. That's what no, I know. That, that shaman is dead. Uh, good old, good old Nazim killed him. Oh, he is dead. So, okay. so everything by me is dead now. Yes, Got yes. It. I softened so, him up for you, Nazim. So okay. what direction? Uh, so we have north, south, and east where we got bad you, guys, and a lot of them are dead. Guys to, you only got bad guys to the south now. Oops, sorry. Okay. Pulled that upside down. No, that's right. Okay. All right, so to the south. All right, all right well, I'll, I will try to go through the webs to the south, and I could probably have to roll some dice or something. No, uh, you can. You go automatically. Okay. Now, what do you want to do? Uh, what What do I see? You see, you see a good fifteen ogres ready to hurl spears. All right. Well, is anybody with me uh, at this moment? No, nobody's with you. Okay, so I'm going to stay. Uh, uh, invisible, yes. and I, I'm I, I'm gonna just wait wait because I I, I want folks to come along uh, behind me. Okay, well. do me a wisdom check. Uh, yes, I am wise. Um, okay, hold on. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, a five. What does that mean? That means you aren't wise enough to figure out how much danger you're in right now. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm staying, us, I'm staying invisible. Okay. It takes us to the bold lance. All right. So the uh, shaman is dead. Then I will rush to wherever the largest gaggle of dead men standing are. The orcs must die. Okay. Very good. That takes <laughs> us to Orlando. Oh um, I'm trying to make my way through the webs. And no problem. You make your way. Go ahead. All right, and um, look to see if there's anybody within range that I can heal. No. Yeah, Lance keeps running away from the medic. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? Okay, so, two, takes us to, oh, Levi's not going to like that. How's that going to work? No, I can't get Levi. So, Prometheus, you are totally wrapped up in a wall of webs. Now, yes, you'll be able to break out, but it's going to take you all of next turn. And two, three, four, five. And Nazim, you are totally wrapped up in a wall of webs. What's your strength? Uh, something, something. Uh, it's uh, 17. Okay, you can break out in three rounds. Okay. Uh, was there a saving throw for this? No saving throw whatsoever. I hate no saving throw. Oh, no, me too. Okay, so that takes us to the ogres. And hurled spears by the millions. No no initiative roll or? No, this. Why do you guys? You guys hack your initiative. We, we it's we the monster. Initiative. Monsters. Oh, okay. Oh, my right, God. Right. I, I do not know why so you guys you aren't said, kidding. I, I love that we're always going to for a twofer. Yeah, no. So, so hey, you have a question. You, you, try. Said, you said they were throwing spears by the millions. Does that mean there's millions of them? Are no, the no, I, I exaggerated. Okay. It's a little bit for effect. Okay. okay. So, Jim, uh, I have a cloak of displacement on. So, if you try to hit me, I think there's going to be some problems. And as a matter of fact, I hit you with three spears and they all miss because of your cloak. Okay. And I got one. Spear on my good friend Lance for nine points of damage, Lance. All right, I'm down 45 points out freaking standing. Well, hey, you know, if you'd stand a second for the cleric to heal you, you'd be in better shape. <laughs> no, big scars. Okay. So, no. so I got a uh, quick question. Uh, are there any shamans that we know of that are left? Because uh, otherwise, where would the webs have got, come from? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. fascinating question, isn't it, Levi? Oh my goodness! Hmm. 
Did I see any shamans from where I'm at? No. Okay. Okay, so initiative. We got uh, Weirdner rolling initiative. I rolled a brilliant 18. 16. You have the calm. Okay, so now, boys, the monsters are going to go now, <laughs> and then you guys get to go. All right, is everybody on board with that? I will allow. <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, so first, the fun part for me. Oh, look at that. So who did I put in webs before? I put who? Walt uh, and myself. Walt and Prometheus. Yes. Good. Are they in the same general vicinity? No. Interesting. Okay. Can I, if I look up, is there anything obvious up above us? Um, uh, you see two giant spiders. Oh. Lance, you are now covered in webs. Oh. And you'll be able to break out next turn. Along with the other two boys. Nazim, you are covered in webs. Hmm. I hate when that what's happens. Your, what's your strength, buddy? 17. Oh, I already did that. So you, this is your second batch of webs. So you're four melee rounds before you can get out. Okay. I'm not scared. And now we throw a million spears. Levi, what's... What's your armor class? These yeah, I know you're invisible. Levi. Thank yeah. you very much. So minus as five. You, as you stand there, or minus in, four. In, in front yeah, of a great big four. gaggle of ogres, they throw their spears straight at the crew, and naturally you're going to get maybe hit with a couple. And because I rolled one ray high die, you do get hit with a couple. And you, but you only take oh, uh, you only take three points of damage. That's kind of depressing. And. Are you yeah. the good news, James? The, uh, no. The others are total misses. So what's the good news, Lance? The audience is saying that we should be nice to you. <laughs> That's funny. That's, <laughs> All right, I, audience, you're fired. Yeah, really. <laughs> I laugh hysterically. Good thing you guys paid money to see us. <laughs> okay, that takes us to the boys, starting with my good friend, Weirdna who knows nothing about the spiders at the present time. I do not. Um, uh, Razor and I will look up onto the ceiling. What do we see looking up down all around? Two giant spiders. Make way for dynamo and I will uh, lightning bolt. <laughs> what's, oh, the, what's the range? Oh no, the lightning bolt is seven times. You only get one of the spiders. I can't break it. Okay, that's fine. And, and we're gonna love this because it bounces. Bounces. Interesting. Where does it bounce to? That's a great question. I'm going to find out in just a second. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, the, Thank the you. dog objects. <laughs> Un unfortunately for me, you hit Prometheus and you burn all his webs off. And because he's immune to lightning bolts, he doesn't get hurt at all. <sighs> so that was brilliant word now. Wow, what great play that is. Okay, do your damage on my poor spider. Uh Poor guy. Never hurt anybody. There he is with that sword again. I'm kind of worried about you, Michael. 47. How much? 47. 47, okay. You guys are really racking up the old creatures here. All right, that takes us to Levi. Well, uh, so what do I see? I see one spider left. Yes. Not draconic, is it? <laughs> That's a good pitch. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, I, I I will go ahead and uh, dragon bow aim up at the spider and uh, take my shots. Okay, and become visible in the act. Oh, was well, that what happens? Um, <laughs> how about no, this? You get to attack anything you want invisible for the entire yeah. rest of your career, Levi. Mm -hmm. uh, Excellent. All right. So that's what I'll do. No. Uh, okay. So what, what I'll do, I guess I'll take now. <laughs> different question. Uh, I, I can move fairly, uh, fairly quickly, fairly far. Can I move out of line of sight of all the bad guys on my end? Not a chance. Well, I'll take that back. If you go back up the stairs, you will be out of their sight. Can I still aim up towards the spider? No. So, or 
are, are the other people all within line of sight of the bad guys? You suspect they are. You want to make a wisdom check and know for sure? Sure. Of course, then you won't be running around the corner. Uh, all right, how about this? Is there a place that I can run to, be out of line of sight, and shoot at the spider? No. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, sometimes, fine. Sometimes you just have to hold the line, Levi. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I, I, I'm, I'm shooting up. Yeah. Okay, fine. great. Take two shots. He does not mean heroin, audience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not really. Well, well, what's their AC? Uh, excellent question. Thank you very much. Four. Oh, okay. All right. So the first one's definitely a hit. Second one is definitely a hit. How um, much damage, buddy? And for my roll, uh, uh, f- fourteen points. Fourteen points. Thank you very much. That was Levi. Mike uh, in the chat, Murder Mutt, uh, or Mad Hermit, excuse me, uh, said, I didn't know Monk Masters ran away. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Don't Tell judge. Well done. Yeah, don't judge. Exactly right. Okay, so um, Walt is struggling. Prometheus is free of his bonds. If I use, no. if I use my I'll, big knives, I can get out faster? No, you're four, you're four melee rounds in there, buddy. What about if I use hey, my I- teeth? I was going to do an action, Jim. Yeah, you actually you're actually free of the webs before your action, so you're good there. Um, let me get the other guys who aren't. Okay. Um, Lance is getting free of the webs. And Orlando, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to try uh, using magic stone on one of the spiders. How much damage does that do, buddy? Um, but I have to hit them first. Okay. So armor class four. Yes. I hit with two. Okay. And I'm drawing damage. For uh, five points. All right. Well done. Thank you. That was Orlando. I got Lance getting free. Die, spiders Tom is die. going to do something last. Weirdna. Uh, is the spider still kicking? It's simultaneous, so he's still alive and aiming his jet at Levi. Uh, jet? Yeah, tell me about the jet. It's a spinneret. It's a, it's oh, a okay, big thing that's on fine. his butt. Spider it looks butt. like he's going to fart on poor Levi and do horrible uh, things to him. Uh, chill out, dickwad, and freeze him. <laughs> and freeze him. Okay, how much damage does that do, buddy? Uh, the good news is uh, 47. Wow. Okay. And now, Prometheus, my friend. So this is a big echoing cavern. You know, it's huge and all that kind of stuff, right? Yes, sir. 40 by 60. Okay. Um, the the Ogre Spear Chucker group is how many? It was down there a lot. Many? 19, 15, 20? There's some. There's, there's a good nine. Okay. They are suddenly enveloped in pea soup fog as I summon underground weather. Oh, that's nice. Well and done. I, I give a giant, my most terrible cloud giant roar. Mm. And uh, hopefully that creates confusion and panic and they start killing each other. Okay. And all we have left is Nazim. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> you get rid of webs. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, well, I can't do anything else. I mean, I could, yeah. I could start, um, you know, I could, I could really get into character and, uh, start swearing in like multiple languages uh, because I have a PhD in profanity, but um, it's, oh, yeah. Psionic Blast. Y- yeah, if I had that, that'd be great. Yeah, no <laughs> psionics in my game. Thank you very little. I-, I will taunt as I work my way through. I will taunt the uh, the poor ogres and call the them The ogres cowards. that you can't see anymore because there's a great big fog down there. I still know they're there. So I will uh, continue to taunt them. Yeah, in okay, that sounds call great. Them cowards. All right, sounds wonderful. Okay, so, um, 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 uh. you hear nothing from the ogres. There's a bunch of dead ogres everywhere. And uh, Andrew decides to stop being in wraith form. And he turns over those bodies to find a skull wand and a skull staff. And okay. uh, you, get, you get the feeling they're evil. Okay. Okay. 
So all ogre die? All your ogres in front of you are dead, yeah. How's there a spider? Those two spiders are dead, yes. I would Search like the to, bodies. I, I have detect magic as a giant. I uh -huh. would like to detect magic in the cavern. Mm, 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 mm. Just the, the, the staff and the wand are magical, that's it. Okay. Nothing in the walls, ceilings, no secret doors. No, but but good old good old uh good old uh, fever says there's a gigantic aquamarine gem that we really need that's uh that's under the bed here in this room. All right, I go and retrieve it. Why do we need it? Because I don't have an aquamarine gem in my sheath yet. Does it have any magic powers? No, but it's a ten thousand gold aquamarine gem. Okay. I'll pop it in the sheath. Okay. Gold digger, he, she she is it. so wetted down with gems, she probably weighs like a thousand pounds. She does probably it? does. Good thing he's no very magic strong. powers, Jim, really. <laughs> hey, yeah. not every gem in the dungeon has magical powers. Okay. I will challenge him to an uh, arm wrestling match for the diamond uh, for the gym. You'd no. lose. <laughs> you would lose. I just give her her gem, tell her to shut up. Okay, she does. There's no way to talk to Nicole. I know. <laughs> you say it's a ten thousand GP gem. Yes, sir. So what? What? What kind of? Aquamarine. Like what kind? Of, that's a gem. That's a gem. That's a blue gem. Yes. So like an emerald or no aquamarine? It, it, it's it's both it's both a gem and a color. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it's a very it's a kind of a nice sea soft sea blue yeah. uh, color. Uh, like they make great gems. You usually find them anywhere you can. So go to Atlantis. Go to one of those big uh, places like that, and they have those gems all over the place. all over the Wait, place. There's Atlantis in D and D. <laughs> there is, as a matter of fact, I've I've got the I've got the city all mapped out. I tell the Did wizard about that one. I I tell the wizard about the uh, the staff and the wand. Oh, I'm he, yeah, he's holding them. Yeah, oh, okay. you, you're getting yeah. a very uncomfortable feeling about them. Yeah, I had that marriage already. Okay, so which different. which takes us to <laughs> Walt and our second brand of advertising. What do we got now, Walt? You know, I mean, when you when you're going to uh, for the gusto, you have to talk about Galaxy's Edge. There uh, we go, Nick. Did you want to hit us up? Oh my gosh, Galaxy's Edge! Jeez, <laughs> oh jeez. Um, winner of two Dragon Awards. It's really doing stuff. There's some interesting stuff right now. We're actually having a couple of Hollywood meetings. But the best place for you to jump into Galaxy's Edge is over on Audible Books, produced by Podium Studios. It is the premier space marine combat fiction novel. A lot of people really love it. A lot of people have fun. You should jump in and listen and just have a great time. There's a lot of books to get involved in, or you can just have one book, have the time of your life, but it's a, it's a pretty fun place. And I think what, you, what I like most about Galaxy's Edge are actually the people who are into it over on the Galaxy's Edge fan page. It is the most irreverently fun place to hang out on Facebook, which is really saying something these days. Is, is there a <laughs> website, Nick? Yeah, there is. It's called galacticoutlaws.com, but you can get the book on Audible or Amazon. And, and uh, like I said, even if you don't even read the books, just go hang out with the, the, the kids at, at the Galaxy's Edge fan page. And tonight, uh, I think there's, an, uh, there's a Galaxy's Edge podcast. There is. Uh, starring Doc Spears and some chungo named Nick Cole. <laughs> <laughs> chungo. But the question is, are you going to have time for a Thai massage? No, tonight is no time massage. Oh, oh no. the hardships you endure. I yeah, know. really. And, and while yeah. you're over there, Podium Publishing has some other awesome audiobooks out there. So that's where all the cool kids go for their sci-fi fix. They do. Podium is is the is if you like space marine fiction, that is it. And uh, and who doesn't? Uh, Jason Anspach and I will be delivering our first fantasy title. I think in just a little over thirty days. Oh, and what are we yeah. calling it? That's Forgotten Ruin. Nice. Is that the will... title or is that the campaign name? That is that is the title of the first book, Forgotten. Okay. The second book is called Hit and Fade, and that's underway right now. Oh my god, I need a fade. minute. <laughs> and the good news is if you're if you're a fan of R. C. Bray who will dictate who dick narrated season one and will narrate season two, we have a copy of a CD copy of his narration of the Martian before they redid it. And there will oh, be a contest cool. giveaway 
of that when um, season two is about to launch. I'm coordinating that with Jason. And that uh, product was donated by the great folks over at Podium. Oh, yes. cool. Well so, so Nickster, are we still talking, maybe doing a role-playing game for Forgotten Ruin? I think we are. I think we're. I think we're in the works. We want to see how the audience receives it. You know, it's a different kind of fantasy. It's U.S. Army Rangers versus ogres. So uh, we'll see if, if people want to have an M4 or, an, or, or a 240 or a tomahawk to go up against uh, uh, ogres. But I, I think it's pretty fun. Uh, one person, or three people in this group have read it. I think they enjoyed themselves. Oh my god! I, good. I the loved Carl it Gustav myself. Was the was the money shot? Yeah. And we, we encourage JR. I guess we can talk about it here now, but uh, JR and Jim are teaming up for, I don't know. I, I know what I knew it was initially, but it's morphed a little. What are you guys writing? So we're taking a uh, striker brigade combat team is going to be de forward deployed and uh, things are going to happen and they're going to end up in uh, James's favorite uh, pantheon of gods. Undead world. Yes. Wowza. We haven't got the name yet, though. Jr., you and I are gonna have to work on a name. Isn't it called? I, like, I will just smile and nod because that's the part I suck at. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and I got a lot of emails last week from people saying I should write. Where's Word now? Yeah. Yeah. Should. Exactly. I mean, what a great you idea that sleep, is. Right? You already no. work like twenty-two hours a day. Yeah, really. Bad and bad. I, I, I believe Walt is writing a, a sort of similar title too. Walt, you want to share? Or? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah well, I wasn't expecting that. Now I'm on the spot. I know. We're um, just talking and sharing for the audience because, like, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, for my title, um, uh, it's called uh, Hollow Sword, the Tip of the Spear. Oh, you know, nice. Because the tip of anything else would just be weird and probably get me banned from somewhere. Um, mm -hmm. But the, uh, um, the premise is a, uh, a hollowed-out Marine who has reached the end of what he feels is his fate tempts it one more time on a free dive off the coast of Honduras when Ooh. things go awry and <laughs> he arrives in a, in a land not his own uh, to save a people he is all too familiar with. Yeah, That sounds fun. Cool. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think we're really building a fun new little genre. Carlos, I should probably talk to you about it. And, I would uh, love to. <laughs> yeah, we should, we should do that. That would be fun and so, you know, like that's like, I, I think now that we have this podcast and it's really starting to work and people are digging it, it's cool. We're moving into fantasy. Uh, maybe not all fantasy readers want to, you know, buy Space Marine novel, novels, but we're about to have that for you. And so you'll have to buy it to keep us off the screen. <laughs> Carlos is yeah, really. writing one. If it doesn't have Buffy the Vampire Slayer in it, I'm not coming. Ooh, <laughs> what an idea. In the old days of TSR, we sold. 75% fantasy to 25% science fiction. And yeah, uh, fantasy, the, fantasy, it's still that. Fantasy is like when you break into the fantasy market, you're close to the romance market, which is the biggest gorilla. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Fantasy is great. But, you know, it's, it's an interesting crowd. It's a different crowd than the Space Marine crowd. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah Does that, really. uh, uh, um, is the next step beyond that to have uh, – a Levi JR team up to do Oga erotica. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I, th I think I think JR freaked me out because he bought haunted vagina. <laughs> <laughs> and when he told me that, I just said, I don't know that the FBI will ever let me work with him. <laughs> yeah, really? Perfect. Yes. Yes. He's now on a list somewhere. So yeah, I don't know. Well, okay, what's so, funny is that's one of the tamest titles of that guy who ever wrote that. Yeah. What I hate is that you went on a deep dive into that person's world. Like, <laughs> believe I wrote it. You're like, the guy who gets, it. You're, you're like the guy that gets overly fascinated with Richard Ramirez. Oh, there we go. And who, who doesn't, really? Okay, so we got a half hour left. Let's dive back in. We have, uh, we have Fog covering the south exit. Um, the north exit is filled with dead ogre bodies, and then the two um, ogre shaman have been inspected, and you found a great big aquamarine gem. So what do we wish to do? Is there anything any else to search on the shamans? Any other magical goodies or scrolls? You know, there's, there's, uh, uh, there's a bunch of darts for blowguns. Probably there's 10 left for each of the uh, shaman, and, okay. and you see green goo on the tips, so you strongly suspect evil poison. 
Okay. So might I suggest to our good friend, uh, Orlando CJ, the great shaman himself, that he raised these creatures from the dead to fight with us? Well, I would love to, but I didn't uh, memorize that spell. He didn't bring that spell, yes. You guys are terrible at suggesting spells that your spellcasters haven't brought along. You know who would have done it? Who would have done it, Ron? <laughs> Ron would have done it. Ron, do it now. Oh, and I my goodness. And I go, do a it. Get anybody up. anybody <laughs> want to dedicate corpses to their gods? Because this is now the time. Odin doesn't want them. I'll um, take them Jim, all. I, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jim, can I? The spiders had a layer when I used Detect Magic. Was there anything up there? Yeah, no. Just there was a big, there was a big web patch, but there's nothing in it. Okay. Do they have any oh, eggs up there? That um, it's fairly so, recent. Andrew? Um, you know, you could check for eggs. The lands. You want to roll a six set of die? No, I want to go kill the rest of these ogres. So let's keep going. We'll come back for those. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Well, there's. We came through the north exit. Is that what we did? No, you came through the west wall. Okay. The north exit is filled with dead ogres. All right. And the south exit is filled with your fog. Okay, let's go through the north exit. Okay, very good. Yeah. So you go. Oh, you go there. That's interesting. Okay. You see a beholder. Yeah, no, you don't see a beholder, thank goodness. A giant Tyrannosaurus but, and I might have a suggestion, James, like, as we kill everything, I know that your standard thing is to immediately repopulate the dungeon. Yes. But we're never going to get to the lower levels if we have to keep re-securing territory. Buddy, buddy, I, okay, so when we started this grand experiment. I know, I know, I, I, I know that. I'm just Cole saying, said. I'm suggesting if you ever want us to get there. You might want to just have the ogres show up and go, oh, my gosh, these people are monsters. Let's go to keep on the borderlands. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> like That could oh, just be an option. I'm oh, sorry. Or, 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 or here, here's, a, here's another uh, uh, opportunity. So is Andrew able to seal up where we've gone and then take them down afterwards so that we can kind of block off, you know, block off how, how far we've gone so that nobody else comes in? They have their own spellcasters. Yeah, get rid so of that's them. the problem. So the permanent spells I can do, but they're permanent. The temporary ones they can dispel. So there's there's a uh, blocking option I have that let me work on that and see if. I'm just trying to make a suggestion of how to get farther down into the dungeon. Yeah. Okay. Although we should sort of look at your idea as those you know ogres and monsters would be like, hey, let's go to Arby's. Keep on the borderland. Let's go to the Arby's. So, yeah. you're right. well, well, there we go. So I would, I would just, uh, from my high chair as the dungeon master, I might suggest that you stop always going down the same way. I mean, you have an elf tower to go to, you've got a gnome tower to go to, you've got the they main have taxes. keep. <laughs> yeah, they do have taxes. The main keep doesn't have taxes, and that, yeah. of course, is the honey pot of the whole dungeon. But inevitably, and, uh, we have the same problem, though, every time. No matter which way we go, we're only No, no. So go. far, we haven't had a lot of repopulation in the main spots. So our trips to the Dwarven Tower, we've never had anything repost in places that we've killed stuff. At That's least very true. The, at least according this, to the maps. The only exception the has been when we went back to the, um, the uh, Egyptian crypt. There was yep. a second thing there. But other yep. than that, it's not been repopulated. And this so is you know, a feature? I know a I know a place we can go where there's no taxes. Crimson Hawk City. It's ours. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's yours, actually. So, so with the, enough the bloodshed, it will be. The, yeah. the lack of repopulation is that a feature or just a coincidence? It's it's the way the levels are laid out. Okay, this is the you're in a themed level right now. Put that sword down, you crazy fanatic! You, <laughs> you're in a themed level here. So ogres and orcs populate the level. By the hundreds, if not thousands, yeah, great. That's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's a it's a theme dungeon. It gets repopulated right away. So you've attacked majorly down these stairs. So they just keep putting more and more guards on those stairs. First you started with orcs, then you had some ogres. Now you've got lots of ogres. Uh, I think the next time you're going to be even more unhappy than you are right this second. We need to leave a lot of poison, you know, bad yeah, okay. poison. We, we, okay, we go to the north. Okay, yeah. very good. Thank you very much. You go to the north. Yep. So we go up 40 yards, and then there's a portal to the 
east. And it's a cool little portal. Uh, so you see some beds. This is what you see. You see me grabbing my magnifying glass. So a portal as in like a doorway. Yes, yes. Okay. I should have right. really wrote this in 10-point type. Silly me. Imagine me just getting old. Uh, you see several beds. In front of each bed is a small pedestal with a jade orc carving on it. There are several chests. And in the northeast corner, there's a large altar to an orc god. Orc shaman are moving about the area and praying to their god on their knees. So you see three orc shaman. Let's kill them all. Please. So we, we, we start with the boys. Wirdna, I guess you go first. Why does he keep going first? Um, I'm not in front line anymore. <laughs> um, now that we're back in battle order, I didn't think I was in front. I, I don't believe you gave me a battle order this week. Uh, I did, and there are two links to it, and I can see you've logged into it. Naturally, I ignored it. So go ahead, buddy. <laughs> okay. So um, just for fun, uh, here is our battle order. Da -da -da. I'm going to have to write this down, unfortunately, for me. Your, your no, point, I'll just show it so you can see. are inappropriate, Andrew. <laughs> you can't see the picture? I got nothing so far. There we go. All so, right. So that's the 10, and that's the 20. All right. I'm sorry. So Anton Chrome, I'm second. I'm all excited and made this. I don't know. That seems inappropriate. Good old, good old Andrew. This is really very helpful. You know, I really like your name, Nazim. That's pretty cool. It's Irish. Yep. It is not Irish. <laughs> black Irish. <laughs> oh, okay. Black Irish. There we go. All right. Okay. So Lance, why don't you start, boy? All right. Uh, where is the evilest, meanest, biggest looking SOB in the room? Well, there, he was, uh, he's probably the middle shaman that has this great big uh, uh, orc mace with a giant uh, dwarf skull on the top. I will scream at him as I charge straight ahead. Okay, very good. So much he for surprise. Die. Okay. Surprise will be my blade in his belly. Takes us to Krom. Um, Prometheus uh, turns incorporeal. How many times can you do that in a day, Prometheus? It's a cloak. I just put it on. Mm -hmm. right. R remind me to look that up after the adventure. Oh, that takes Andrew, us Andrew can tell you all about it. Yeah, we probably <laughs> can. But I don't want to hear it from Andrew. Uh, it takes us to Weirdna. Uh, oh, second line. Um, so there's one that's larger or... Massive compared to the other two. Um, I've got him. Right. Uh, and and tell me about the other two. Do they look like? Do they look normal compared to what I've seen in the past? Well, they got they got unusually good armor on, kind of like gold inlay, What's and they're, the they're bending down, worshiping their god right now. Mm. That means right. they're vulnerable. I will. Uh, um, I'm gonna move it, move it, and. Uh, Separate into forwardness. Forwardness, okay. He's gonna move it, move it. And that takes us to Levi. I'm invisible. You're not Levi. Uh, I, I, I too am invisible. However, uh, I met. <laughs> but, 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 uh, do I have clear line of sight to uh, any of the ogres I want to go? You take, bet uh, you on? do, my good friend. All right, so I'm going to take two shots at, you know, one of the big baddies. Okay. Roll me two 20-sided dice. Tell me the numbers. All right. First one is probably a miss at an eight. Okay, thank you very much. And the other one is a 20. Okay, so give me yeah, the damage. 20. Give me the damage on the eight. On the eight? Uh... Yes, please. Let's see. I got a six. Okay, Lance takes six points in his back. Oh. That takes us to the other orc that's taking an arrow damage on a 20. Uh, and uh, seven. 
Seven, very good. Three of these. I need to get within melee distance. These are weak numbers. <laughs> that takes us to our good friend Azim. Dump arrows into these uh, these heathens. What a great idea. Uh, first heathen. Um, they're, they're still AC3? Yes. Yes. Two shots. Uh, first one. Oh, that's awful. Uh, the first shot is six. Okay. That's that's a lot better. The next shot Thank is you. 16. Okay. So 22 give me total. The, give me, no, no. Give me the damage for the six. That That is the six. That, oh, you six that, points of damage. Six for points the of damage. Yep. So a twenty. So I hit with both arrows and got twenty-two damage total. Oh, you didn't miss with the six. No. I I can't tell you how sad. No, I no, am. no, 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 no. The the six. So I hit both times. The first right. da the first damage was six points, I and then see. the second arrow damaged for sixteen points. So it's okay. twenty-two total. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. And Orlando. Islands. <laughs> I mean, I silence. Do silence. That is not good for those boys. Wow. That's a great spell, Orlando. That's why he carries it. He is a pro player because he is the legendary game designer of Buffy. He is the unsung hero of this adventure today. Well, I, I designed the card game for Buffy. <laughs> you two should get together and like have lunch or something and talk have about Buffy it. stories That's of, right. how, of how difficult that company was to work with and what is Buffy Buffy or the Buffy? Vampire Slayer the yeah, TV the show TV. oh the I remember that movie yes 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 um, uh, Carlos has offered to run us a game of Buffy the Vampire Slayer anytime we should like a role playing Please, game but... yeah the, um, cool the official license role playing well I love that idea just as long as I can be Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. gonna get weird. That was that was the awful problem with James, the Indiana. James, do you see my face? <laughs> <laughs> we 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 that, had that it. face is a warning where we're going. We paid through the nose okay. for the Indiana Jones license and the Conan license, oh, and we did we did absolutely brilliant role playing games for those two, but. Everybody wanted to be Indiana Jones and everybody wanted to be Conan. So it just didn't work out for us. We were very sad. Yeah, we had to come up with some workarounds uh, for the people who had to play the Scooby gang. Yeah, but, uh, I bet. They did. All right. So the three guys jump up and they they try to cast spells and they fail miserably. Nice. Because my sword is in their throat. Okay, so Lance, go ahead and strike. All right, I got my three rounds. Uh, what's their AC again? Three. Three, let me see if a six will hit. I don't think it does. Actually, it's right on because that's a weapon of choice. All right, so that hits. All right, 13 hits, 13 hits. So that I is like this. eight plus 21 is 40, 49. Oh. Very good. I hope you win your little D and D game, honey. <laughs> Thank you very much, Walt. That, of course, was the darling Nicole, who who you can buy. How does it work to buy those things, Walt? So, uh, if you go hover over your mouse over to the side of the uh, the Twitch screen, uh, it'll give you uh, two little tag or a little tag, and uh, it'll allow you to uh, pick up some sound effects if you so choose. And then you can blast them out while we're having the adventure. It's true. And scare the living, ever-loving crap out of me every time. There we go. And just real quick to the people uh, watching along, can you make sure to share us and tell your friends about us and mash all the like buttons and, and everything because we're just trying to grow the feed and that would help us to do the next steps that we want to do. And uh, Walt had a fun, new, interesting show you guys might, might not know about that went down this Monday. Can you tell us about that show? Oh, my God. That was so much fun. So uh, we uh, we had our friend over at the BAM podcast, Mike Lafferty, uh, run our new uh, our newest uh, show segment, which is called Lunchtime Test Drive. Uh, and the uh, the game that we test, dri uh, test drove was uh, Monsters Are Our Heroes, where you get to play uh, where the good guys this time are all the universal monsters. Um, and oh my God, we had such a great show. A lot of the people that are in the chat today uh, watched us and, and 
It was it was absolutely hysterical. Mike Lafferty as the creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, him him making the sound effects for as he was speaking as though he were underwater. I, I almost shot coffee out of my nose. It was so good. <laughs> uh, part two of that game is going to be this Monday at uh, noon Eastern time, um, and then the following week. Uh, I'll be running a game of uh, White Star, which is uh, old original D&D with uh, the Star Wars serial numbers filed off. So uh, we'll be doing that, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and then uh, uh, we got a couple of guys we're chasing down for uh, the, the following month uh, with uh, some really cool role-playing games that are coming out and just starting to hit. So I, I can't really talk about it yet just because I don't have them locked in. I don't want to give anybody any false hope. But uh, yeah, uh, part two for The Monsters Are Our Heroes is going to drop uh, this Monday at uh, noon Eastern. And then the following week, uh, we'll do part one of uh, White Star. So, uh, but and that was originally by Barrel Rider Games. Uh, now it's under Gallant Knight Games, uh, and uh, it's just a really, really great system. A lot of fun. Very easy to use if you like like old school white box D and D, and you want to see it played with like lasers and space knights and and all that stuff. Uh, that'll be your jam. Come join us. Okay. And I was wow. I was wrong on my math. It was fifty nine for the damage. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Lance. You're welcome, sir. Which takes us My to... My good friend. Yeah, there we go. We are indeed good friends. Prometheus, you can do an attack, buddy? Uh, can I backstab? No. Then I would like to move into a position because I am non-corporeal to backstab. Okay. So I'll use this round to do that on the that... main chief big ogre. Word now? Um, on the one I was looking at? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll say like a frightened turtle and uh, shrink him down for saving. <laughs> They're so oh, cute when you shrink them down to six In the bottle. Poor guy. You know, I don't think you get the experience points for a shrunk down living creature. Of course they do because it's the capture rule. Uh, so the capture rule, you get uh, half the hit dice. Rule 61 on page 63 of the DM's guide says that you're wrong. <laughs> And that, of course, comes from our good friend Nick and and his batch of cool sounds. I am also available for children's birthday parties. <laughs> yeah, well, who, who isn't? Okay, but Levi. I, but there will be therapy bills for your children. Yeah. Great clown for five hundred. Uh, uh, I I will melee the nearest uh, shaman. Okay, got it. Go. Three. And I'm a class three. And I pre-rolled here, and I got two hits. Oh, that's too um, bad. And, I, and I've got my fire gauntlets on, you know, as well over my little gloves. Okay, and, okay. Uh, so first one uh, hits for eight plus four damage. Uh -huh. so that's 12. Yes. And next one is seven plus five. Tw 12 and 12. Okay, 24 points. All right, very good. Takes us to Azim. Uh, another two arrows into that same one. Okay. He had it coming. He did yeah. have it coming. Uh, uh, I missed with the second one, but I hit with the first one. Okay. How much damage did you do with the first, with the, you missed with the second one? I missed with the second one, yes. No. Okay. How much damage on the first one? The first one is 12. Thank you very much. Okay, and please do the damage for the the missed one. Uh, that one is twelve as well. Levi, that's you taking twelve points of damage in your back. Oh, whoops! Takes us to Orlando. I'm new. I am. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving Take in with your my salary. mace. You're moving that in with your what? mace. I'm going okay, to yes, go thing. ahead. Chop away. And see my, and I miss. You know, you 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 being from the Church of Horus, you might be able to get some of uh, Dron's gear. Ooh. Wouldn't that be handy? Yeah, instead of letting Terry have the whole thing. I'll ask Dron. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> you are getting a lot of play out of that skull, there, my good friend. What does the magic eight ball say, Andrew? I'm Minuta Bitta. What 17. does Dron say? Oh, 
Um, <laughs> signs say, ask again later, balls. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <All right. laughs> Levi, Levi, poison save, my good friend. Poison save. <laughs> All right. I like that Levi's always indignant that indignant that he would ever take damage. Yeah, yeah, really. Uh, well, uh, I, I made my save. Okay, then you only take nine points of damage. Levi, you uh, are uh, poisoned at ninth level. There's there's two. Uh, okay, there's one shrunk, and there's one right, still. So no points. What was that again, Weirdna? Why did he not take damage? G is in go uh, say no. Um, uh, immune to poison, monk natural ability. That is disgusting. Is it all poisons? Can I get in with any poison whatsoever? Uh, I don't know if there's an alteration. I think there was a big argument that was made uh, at Origins about uh, poisons from certain types of monsters, but they were pretty horrific on the list. It could have been me who argued that. Uh, Origins 2, so this would have been... I was there. 77, 78? Yep. It was an unhappy conversation. Uh, uh, he's looking it up because it's important. I just don't see any data on it. Uh, this is the you know who else is in unhappy. You get the doctor, uh, the doctor D and D show. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yep, Doctor Phoenix. We got a couple of yeah. We got a couple right, of PhDs I, I'm going to give it to you, but I really don't think it's fair. So now I have to remove all my, my poison attacks in the next 28 rounds of attacks. Okay, so now we do initiative with my good friend, um, Nazim rolling. I rolled a brilliant 13. Hey, new guy, don't F this up. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. And I get a 19. Oh, that's disgusting. New guy starting, with, starting with Lance. That's the way to lead. I'll argue, Jim, that he is affected by it. That he does get his poison. Yes, for okay, now. And you, and you made your saving throw, right, Levi? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you, so you took nine points of damage. Good. Right. Am I close I'll go to look at the dissenting opinions later? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Am I close to the another ogre since we killed? Yes. The one yes. No me? problem. They're all very close together. All right. I'm gonna stab whatever is the biggest, meanest one left. Okay. Sounds good. Alrighty, and are they still uh, armor class three? Yes. All right. So the first. Weird one... If you shrink one down to, to six inches, does it change his armor class? No, I'm just gonna polymorph him then to make it permanent. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just barely made that one. So I've got one, two, and then figure three out what hits. The new roll is um, three hits. Wow. I have to so stock up the zoo, you guys. Uh, did some deprivations. <laughs> so what did I get poisoned by? I mean, I assume I got hit by one of the shamans or something, right? You did kind of get hit by it. Yes, it it seemed to be some kind of weird thorn. 11th level, that'll go away, Michael. It's just... At right. you yeah, still well, lo lots of luck getting to 11th level. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, what... 64... Uh... Oh, go ahead. He only has like points. four fights to the death to, to get there. I'm not sure it's worth it. Okay, and 60, how much damage? 64 points of damage. Okay, so so Lance cuts in half your six-inch tall orc. Oh. For Odin! <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Ooh, Jay, Jay Odin now 36. And I'm saving it for later. Actually, when he said for Odin, the orc disappeared. That's weird. Uh, JNL36 uh, in the chat was saying that 11th level, not affected by poison of any kind, uh, PHB, right. page 32. Yeah. yeah, that's the original printing version, and there's a couple of alterations that came later, but I was wondering if the original uh, supplement that references 9th level would be applied, and it doesn't. It just doesn't really. Okay. So that was Levi. Now we've got Chrometheus. There's Back one left. Of the chief. Oh, that's really too bad. Okay, do you hit? Um, I do hit, and it's also save versus death because I'm using poison. <laughs> okay, now, okay, now here's here's the thing, there, buddy. You're chaotic good now. No. I know, I know you just want. <laughs> I know you just want to be chaotic, but any humanoid, you can do your poison on any monster you want, but humanoids you can't do your poison on. So. Orc being I think we're going to have to have a long discussion human. about this because 
I'm not a giant. And you said I'm becoming a giant. So yes, I'm only yes. growing one foot. So like, I would say I'm still chaotic neutral. And also I would say, uh, okay. You alter my alignment. My actions alter my alignment. And, and he's doing it in service of his group. So it's a good action actually yeah, to yeah, get rid okay. of an enemy. Thank you very much, Levi. No. Um, <laughs> so I kind of agree with you that you're slowly turning, but right now you're still just chaotic but you're definitely heading towards chaotic good. So when you use the poison on him, you, you kind of felt bad about it and didn't think it was very honorable, but it's, he's dead. So you're happy with the results. I will eat back at my fears. Okay. <laughs> Just cho choke them down. Yeah. All right. So that's the, they're all dead there. So you see this marvelous orc ogre altar, not ogre ogre, no, an orc god altar and there's a great big dish of of black opals there's 20 black opals what does um, inside, Zira think inside does the dish tell us anything about the uh deity in question grumish one of the ones we know just a fine fellow that loves orcs to death oh. well we love orcs to death too we just did that orlando <laughs> can you detect evil uh i don't have this spell on me. Of course you don't, Orlando. You never yeah. have the spells you need, Orlando. No, because you have, I you was saving no this You have no alignment. Uh, oh, the, uh, the spell? No, again, I, I only carry... No, he said no that. alignment. Yeah, oh, sorry. Could, the third level oh. spell, no alignment. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Okay. I only have no three problem. third level spells. All right. Um, 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 so, Wordner, you're making them feel bad. I just want you to know that. No, it's all good. We know how I, bad you felt when you didn't have fireballs or anything else that I, Nick wanted. I, I asked to see if he could assist, and that's fine. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, hmm. Text magic on the altar. That's yeah, let's start there. The altar. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's gigantic magic on the altar. Including the bowl good. of opals? The bowl and the opals are both two different magic items. Yikes. Does Fever think anything of the opals? Fever says, "What opals? Mm. Where's <laughs> some opals?" He, she, she, she climbs on. There's opals around here somewhere. Where are the opals? Uh, with my intelligence, can I get a save versus illusions? Staring at them? No, they're no illusions. They're real opals. They are. They're real so high-priced, thousand gold piece each, black opals. So given my so skill would... with ancient languages and heraldry, do I notice anything about the altar that, that could in, be informative? Uh, roll me a 20-sided die, and whatever you do, don't roll lower than a 10. I got a 9. You got a 9. Okay. You fall over unconscious. It's better than becoming a black ant. That's very that's true. true. Maybe steps. That's, that's in another part of the dungeon. I don't know. I snoring and unconscious. That was Gary's favorite curse. He loved turning people into ants. Okay, that takes care of Levi. Levi is on the ground, unconscious, breathing shallowy. Wait, that's Lance. Why? Right? Lance is. I'm sorry, no. Lance. Lance. Is someone vacuuming? Yes, no, yeah, I mean, I'm hearing a vacuuming. I think that's chat sound coming from Walt. No, it's not from me. Oh, it's not. oh I thought that was like a special effect, sound effect. Okay. Um, I think that, that could be my cat snoring. Wow, that's a <laughs> yeah. cat. Is that cat like 90 pounds? Holy oh, my goodness. Um, he's, he's 26 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's a panther. That's a lynx for sure. All right, just stop with you. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. What does okay. Fever tell me about the, the bowl and uh, the bowl? What is the bowl me? is a magic item of some type. She can't get a handle on what it is or what it does. Just magical for sure. I'd like it if she would stick the landing occasionally. I get, okay. I get, I get, I get a lot of, Oh, I kind of know, but I don't know. But it's a gem, you know. I just gave you a ten thousand, you know. Like, is this up, you complaining your about your marvelous and, sword who does amazing things for you and is an artifact? I would gem, just I'm going to cast identify and say reveal your secrets on the bowl and the gems. Oh, you're unconscious. There is no save or MR. No, no save, no MR. Okay. 
And she right. says, if you don't like what I do for you, stick me in a snowbank and let me go. We got snowbanks. I'll have Razor uh, wake Word Nut up. And then. Uh, so far, it hasn't worked. Has not worked. Okay. No. Uh, I was checking on Lance to see if he's uh, in, in any major distress. No. All right. He's not, he's not in distress. I mean, you could heal me. I'm at 78 hit points. Last <laughs> That's night. true. He We're going to say that. that. You go, could I'll, I'll dump some um, heals in him. Yeah, I'm going to dump one cure like this. You said that there were I, that, that there were green jade gems here in chests and everything. No, like no. That. There's 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 yeah. There's three uh, on a, on three pedestals are three jade images of female orcs. Okay, and then you said there were chests here too. There are chests, but they're just filled with orc clothes. Okay, so there's no way. So using detect magic, are the are the jade things? Are they are they? No, they're not magical. Okay. Hmm. Roll me a, roll me your wisdom check, there, Prometheus. Well, I'm a storm giant. Yeah. Thank you. Easily. Okay. No. Um, am I? Do I have storm giant wisdom or me wisdom? You have you wisdom right now. I might not make that one. <laughs> We appreciate your integrity, sir. I'll be honest yeah. with you. I'm not that smart. Okay. Yeah, I'm but are you, uh, wisdom is more like it's more like your uh, your street yeah. smarts. Let me see what my I think my wisdom. Let me see what my wisdom is. I Intelligence is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing that it doesn't belong in a fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> Mildly amusing. That, that is so going I saw, on my next t-shirt. I saw your post, Levi. Uh, Michael about uh, the 21st stuff and realized sadly I had told my son whose birthday was the 21st that it was the 21st century 21st birthday 21st year and, and we were very excited about that and I read your post and was like okay <laughs> <laughs> he was like that was funny I'm like no apparently it makes me a nerd apparently Dog well I my wisdom does not handle it Okay, um, then then that's it. You 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 see, you see the bowl and you see the gems. You know they're magical. You don't know what they do. How long does it take um, uh, Razor to wait where now? Oh, uh, he's pretty much getting carried out of the dungeon. Okie dokie. What All about right. Well, Prometheus, you're gonna have to take us home because I'm a turnip. What about Aramis? Can he wake? Can he wake up, Lance? Nope. Pretty much being I carried got, out of the dungeon. I got smelling salts. That's oh, great. That's no, no, and no. All right. Put them in the bag of holding. <laughs> Important safety note: never do that. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, it's all on you, Chrome. To take us out. Okay. Well, I would like uh, 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 Aramis to pick up the dragon, dra the the jade figurines. Okay. Okay. Good son. Does he do it? Yeah. And then uh, we'll bag those in the bag of holding. Okay. Okay. And then go ahead and pick up the gems from the bowl. That's, Who's doing that? Um, Aramis. Uh, no, doesn't want to. <laughs> Does he say why he doesn't want to? I have an, I have an otherworldly charisma. <sighs> <laughs> Give me a charisma check. Minus Five. four. Minus four, easily. Okay. Because he has paladin dice. He grabs the gems. Then what happens to him? Does he grow horns <laughs> or anything? Is or? he grabbing the bowl or is he grabbing the gems in the bowl? He's taking the gems out of the bowl and then he's grabbing the bowl separately. Okay. I see. So he's grabbed them all? Yes. Everything good with him? You feel fine, buddy? Yes. <laughs> all right, let's walk out. Home. And you say, and you say that the, the you say that the um, you say that the altar is magical. No, I didn't. No, well, when I, I when I detected did. magic, it yeah. was altar and then stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was the stuff it was the bowl altar. and it was the bowl and the stones. Okay, oh, so, the, so the altar is is magical is not magical. Not magic, right? right. You I want to justify your own way out because I said magic too. So okay, so can can any can the cleric tell me if there's a curse on the altar or anything? I don't know, Kenny. Uh, let's see if I... Why aren't you shaking Drawn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Drawn, is the altar cursed? 
and and the skull the says the skull says the altar is cursed. The skull starts talking. Yes. Ooh. 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 Okay. Nines point to balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. I should have said that. I'm sorry. Thank you, Andrew. Um, the uh, the skull develops two little horns on the top of its head. Oh, that's Horse. not that's not drawn. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is there any I big approve. boulders in here or anything? Is there any what? Any big boulders or columns or anything? No, of course not. Is there anything big and heavy I can throw because I'm a giant? No, of course not. Uh, I want to break the idol. Yeah, I know. So well, just, you could pick up the idol if just, you want. Yeah, pick up the idol and smash it. Yeah, but it's cursed. It is. So pick up JR and smash it. Kathy <laughs> <laughs> Kilgosha uh, and uh, KTF Fiend have been asking, and Knight of Barsoom have been asking somebody to throw somebody for the last, what, 26 episodes? Yeah, really. Well, I do have remove, remove curse. Yes, remove curse. You're going to try it? So if I remove the curse, it might be off long enough for you to smash it. Yeah, okay. maybe. Yeah. Or you, you might go it? unconscious just like the rest of us. So I'll, I'll cast it on the. On the on, on the altar, okay. And you go unconscious. Mm. <laughs> go Wait a minute. All right, I'll have three, three people unconscious in this room. All right, let's all, all right. drag drag everybody out. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll touch everybody and teleport us out. Okay. Back where you belong. Yes, back to the keep. All right, very good. With our chest of a thousand gold pieces. That's up front. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Walt, Walt, James, that was a lot of fun today. Thank you. Walt, take us out. Hold on, really before we go. James, I really enjoyed playing a giant today. Thank you. <laughs> Be- before we go, uh, I James, doubt wait, James is James tried to call me middle of the week and and under like he he was working so hard to get me not to want to well i'm taking this away and well you'll just be a monster now and well you and, and what did i say to you james what did i say <laughs> <laughs> i said i'm going to play the hell out of that giant and make you pay <laughs> So, so I doubt James will be joining us for the after dark tonight because tomorrow is his fiftieth wedding anniversary. So he will be preparing for his great party. So congratulations, sir. Well made. Congratulations, you've disconnected yourself, James. <laughs> yeah, you've mu- you've muted us. We took it well. Yep. Oh, what you're giving us a hundred thousand experience points each in a free level? <laughs> let, let me write that. Well, thank you, everybody. Everybody, write that down. Thank you, James. Got it. We're all level 20 now. <laughs> that was a very happy wedding gift. Love that. Thank you. Kermitis is a god, what? We're, 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 yeah. we're now ready for Lolf. Well, James, oh. uh, give a, give your best to our wife. You have a truly accomplished a feat that everybody should, should aspire to. Thank you. Thank you. To 50 years of marriage, we salute you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that very much. The roadmap to success. Starts. It was a fun day today, too. I... I you guys need to do a little bit more, but we did an awful lot of arguing today. I don't know if you guys noticed that, Prometheus. Well, <laughs> my suggestion, Jim, is we're going to work on some timing skills so we can get rooms down a little quicker. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. I've got some ideas. But it's but it's John that wants to argue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <really. laughs> he's, he's talking now, so oh, you've got a talking yeah. skull in your hand. So he's got two man. artifacts in his hand. Oh, yeah. Do I have two artifacts now? Sweet. You no, know what, Drawn is not an artifact. You know what's going to be crazy is when Drawn and uh, Fever start arguing. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> that, that'll be good. That's going to be great. I'm going to turn uh, Drawn's skull into an artifact. Yeah. Okay. I don't think well, I can. Take us out. Uh, well, uh, we all know that uh, Dron is now on his way to becoming the next Vecna, and uh, <laughs> we, uh, we 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 shudder for what may come in the future. But that being said, we loved having you here for uh, the beginning of uh, whatever curse is about to befall us, and we hope to see you next time where sci-fi writers are playing old-school D&D. Dun-dun-dun-dun! Yeah.